My dear child, I speak to you today with great urgency and love. There is something that you must know, something that I need to reveal to you before it is too late. Someone has set a trap for you, a trap that is hidden, deceptive, and dangerous. And right now, you are walking toward it, unaware of the danger that lies ahead. But I see what you cannot see, and I am here to guide you, to protect you, and to help you avoid this perilous snare. First, my child, you must understand that this trap has been carefully designed to deceive you. It is not something obvious or blatant, but rather something that appears harmless, even enticing. It may present itself as an opportunity, a relationship, a decision that seems to offer you something you desire. But beneath the surface, it is a snare, meant to ensnare you and lead you down a path of harm and regret. The one who has set this trap knows your weaknesses, your desires, and your fears. They have crafted this deception to exploit those very things, to lure you in with false promises and empty assurances. But I am here to reveal the truth to you, to open your eyes to the danger that lies ahead. I urge you to be cautious, to be discerning, and to not take things at face value. Not everything that glitters is gold, and not every path that seems easy is safe. My precious one, if you desire the fullness of my blessings, simply trust and proclaim it. Type, yes, I need, and I will meet you with overflowing grace. To avoid this trap, my child, you must cultivate the power of discernment. Discernment is the ability to see beyond the surface, to recognize the truth even when it is hidden, and to make wise decisions based on that understanding. It is a gift that I have given you, and it is one that you must now use to protect yourself. Take a step back from the situation you are in. Look at it from a distance, with a clear and unbiased mind. Ask yourself, what are the true motives behind this opportunity? What do I feel in my heart about this path? What would happen if I took this step? Trust your intuition, for it is my voice within you, guiding you away from harm and toward safety. In this moment, vigilance is your greatest ally. The trap that has been set for you relies on your inattention, on your willingness to go along with things without questioning them. But I ask you to be vigilant, to be aware of the signs that something is not right. Look for the subtle clues, the small inconsistencies, the gut feelings that something is off. These are the warnings that I am sending you, the signals that you must pay attention to. Do not let yourself be lulled into a false sense of security. Do not ignore the red flags, no matter how small they may seem. Stay alert, stay aware, and stay connected to me. I will guide you through this, but you must be willing to listen and to act on the warnings I give you. My child, one of the greatest dangers you face is blind trust. Trust is a beautiful thing, but when it is given to the wrong person or placed in the wrong situation, it can lead to great harm. The trap that has been set for you relies on your willingness to trust without question, to believe without verifying, and to follow without thinking. I urge you to be careful with your trust. Trust those who have proven themselves to be trustworthy, those who have your best interests at heart. But do not give your trust freely to those who have not earned it, or to situations that seem too good to be true. Remember, my child, that not everyone who appears to be on your side truly is. Some people wear masks, hiding their true intentions behind a facade of kindness and support. Be wise in your discernment, and do not be afraid to ask questions, to seek the truth, and to protect yourself from those who would deceive you. The trap that has been set for you may come in the form of temptation. It may offer you something you deeply desire, whether it be success, love, wealth, or recognition. Temptation is a powerful force, and it can cloud your judgment, leading you to make decisions that are not in your best interest. I want you to understand that not every desire is meant to be fulfilled, and not every opportunity is meant to be taken. Temptation can lead you astray, pulling you away from the path I have set for you. It can lead you into situations that, while appearing to offer immediate gratification, ultimately bring pain, regret, and loss. When you feel tempted, 
take a moment to step back and reflect. Ask yourself, is this truly what I want? Is this path aligned with my values, my goals, and my higher self? Is this something that will bring me lasting joy? Or is it a fleeting pleasure that will leave me empty in the end? Trust in my guidance and know that I will always lead you toward what is best for you, even if it requires patience and restraint. Wisdom is your shield against the trap that has been set for you. Wisdom is more than knowledge. It is the application of that knowledge in a way that leads to good decisions and positive outcomes. It is the ability to see the bigger picture, to understand the long-term consequences of your actions, and to choose the path that aligns with your true purpose. My child, I have given you the gift of wisdom, and now is the time to use it. Reflect on the lessons you have learned, the experiences you have had, and the insights you have gained. Use this wisdom to guide your choices, to navigate the challenges ahead, and to avoid the pitfalls that have been placed in your path. If you feel unsure or confused, come to me in prayer and reflection. I will grant you the clarity and understanding you need to see the situation for what it truly is. I will help you to discern the right course of action, and I will give you the strength to follow it, even when it is difficult. Fear is another tool that the one who set this trap may use against you. Fear can paralyze you, cloud your judgment, and make you vulnerable to manipulation. It can cause you to make decisions out of desperation or anxiety, rather than out of faith and wisdom. But, my child, I want you to know that fear has no power over you when you trust in me. I am with you, always, and there is nothing in this world that you need to fear. When you feel fear rising within you, turn to me. I will calm your heart, clear your mind, and fill you with the courage and confidence you need to move forward. Do not let fear drive you into the trap that has been set. Instead, let my love and guidance lead you away from danger and toward safety. Remember, you are never alone, and with me by your side, you have nothing to fear. Your spirit is stronger than you realize my child. It is through your spirit that you are connected to me, and it is through this connection that you will find the strength to overcome any challenge, to avoid any trap, and to rise above any deception. My precious one, if this message has warmed your soul, show your gratitude by liking it. Let your actions be a light that shines for others. Nurture your spirit, for it is the source of your inner strength, your resilience, and your ability to see the truth. Spend time in prayer, in reflection, in connection with me. Allow your spirit to be filled with my love, my wisdom, and my peace. When your spirit is strong, no trap, no deception, no temptation can take you down. Trust in the power of your spirit, my child. It is your greatest asset, your shield, and your guide. It will lead you through the darkness and into the light. In moments of uncertainty, it can be tempting to act quickly, to make decisions out of impatience or frustration. But I urge you to be patient, my child. Patience is a virtue that will serve you well as you navigate this situation. Sometimes, the best course of action is to wait, to allow things to unfold naturally, and to trust that the right path will become clear in time. Do not rush into decisions, especially when you are unsure or feel pressured. Take your time, seek my guidance, and wait for the clarity that will come. Patience will protect you from hasty decisions, from falling into the trap that has been set for you. It will give you the time you need to see things for what they truly are, and to make choices that are aligned with your highest good. Prayer is your direct line to me, my child. It is through prayer that you can seek my guidance, my protection, and my wisdom. When you pray, you open your heart to me, and you invite me into your life to guide you through the challenges you face. If you find yourself unsure, confused, or fearful, turn to me in prayer. I will answer you, I will guide you, and I will protect you from the trap that has been set. Trust in the power of prayer for it is a powerful tool that will help you to stay connected to me, to receive my guidance, and to navigate through any danger. 
Remember, my child, that prayer is not just about asking for what you need, but also about listening to what I have to say. Take time to be still, to listen, and to receive the wisdom and guidance I have for you. I am always here, ready to listen, ready to guide, and ready to protect you. Insight is the ability to see things clearly, to understand the deeper truths that lie beneath the surface. It is a gift that I have given you, and it is one that will serve you well in this situation. As you navigate this challenge, seek insight, look beyond the obvious, and seek to understand the true motives, the true nature, and the true consequences of the situation you are in. Insight will help you to see the trap for what it is, and it will guide you in making the right decisions to avoid it. If you struggle to gain insight, come to me. I will grant you the clarity you seek, and I will help you to see things as they truly are. Trust in the insight I give you, for it is the key to avoiding the dangers that lie ahead. My beloved child, I want you to know that I am your protector. I see the trap that has been set for you, and I will not allow you to fall into it. But I need you to listen to my guidance, to trust in my wisdom, and to follow the path I set before you. I am closer than you think, always watching over you, always guiding you, always protecting you. When you feel lost, when you feel unsure, when you feel vulnerable, turn to me. I am your shield, your refuge, and your strength. No trap, no deception, no danger can stand against my protection. Trust in me, my child, and know that I will guide you safely through this challenge and into the light of a new day. Dear child, your super thanks is a vital part of our mission to spread God's message of love and wisdom. Click the super thanks button to stand with me in guiding others toward the light. May endless blessings flow back to you. My loved one, you hear my voice today not by coincidence but by my hand. Really take it in, especially if you are in a hurry. But if you can take a second to really receive this word, it will wash over you with immense joy. I am so pleased with you. Your steadfast faithfulness has deeply touched me. Though each trial has come hard on you, still your faith in me is unshaken. It is for this reason that I proclaim today that I will pour even more blessings upon you and your family. Do not give up or stop in your hard times. Allow me to take your hand and guide you through the storm. When the waves of chaos seem to wash over you, rest in my embrace, and I will be your comfort. I have told you before, trials will come, but the victory is sure through the sacrifice of my son. His resurrection defeated death itself, so that no problem of earth will ever defeat you as long as you abide in him. I long to share with you my strength, which never fails to pour into your soul, a perpetual wellspring that renews and refreshes when weariness creeps in. Just come to the living water, which I alone supply. Your critics cannot see the plans I have for you, so they try to box you into small spaces and keep you chained to fear. But I have come to give you life in abundance, to set your sights on higher places. I will instill in you higher sights, uplifting you from the pit of despair to heights of joy. I know the struggles that you are going through, even when no one else does. When things get to the point where the only option left now is for you to give up, remember I have not given up on you. My plans for your good are bound securely as my great love toward you. You question if staying the course means anything, because at every single bend, trouble meets you. How can it be worth it to endure, when it's just going to blow your way in wave after wave? You trust me, beloved, because blessings line the way at the end of each storm. I will bring you peace. Even now, although you see it not, the tumult is calming, the silence you hear whispering is that of my love, surrounding you and beckoning you into its sheltering wings where you can rest from battle. Do not fear that you are deserving not such a refuge and comfort. Lay pretentiousness down and come to me just simply as you are. I know and see that unseen war you fight daily, but you need never fight alone. For as long as breath shall continue to come to me, I will always be there beside you. It may be all that you can give to me, that little subtle feeling of faith, no bigger than a mustard seed, that would be enough for me to move mountains when it comes to your cause. Believe, 
when implication unclear. My love ever be known from brightened, shining rays that will guide through safely the darkest of valleys. High and low tides are the ebb and flow of life, the weeping nights and joyous days. And sorrow is not without its set time, then it makes room for gladness. Walk through grieving shadows bravely, for its cleansing leads to greater depths of healing. But do not set up your tent in sadness territory or get stuck in despair's trap. Critics will come to terrorize you as an imposter, making you doubt who you are. Enemies will orchestrate attacks to cage you in fear rather than set you free to fly. Their jabs, however, are but smoke, not the substance of who you are in me. My purpose has always been to lead you into abundantly thriving life. Though others seek your harm, I only plan for good, a future painted with the brightest strokes of beauty. My arms remain wide open, while you, being prostrate, turn your back on me, my heart always follows you. Even if today you push me away, I never draw my love from you or think of you as forsaken. Tomorrow I shall dash to meet you all over again as the longing father awaiting the return of his prodigal child. No act or word against me can shake my loyalty, and no loving resolve of mine can be sobered or bent. And you will see this, but only when you stop running. Sometimes my love feels too remote, too alien, when the adversity is the loudest voice. But do not believe the lie. Lean in closer, and you will know in the very depth of your being that there is nobody who loves you as a whole person the way I do. No one knows your story's secrets like I do, or cares most tenderly. No human friend can enter into your sufferings with you or understand the weight of your burdens. There is no one who thinks you beautiful when you feel wretched, no one to believe in your radiant glory when you feel clothed in shame. The hurt right now seems beyond coping. The strength to take one more step feels drained. Have you forgotten the dawn always breaks after the longest night? Lay one hand over your heart. Inhale the deep fragrance of my presence filling you now with love and truth and peace. Listen. My voice will climb in ceaseless affirmation and high notes of good hope. The promise may seem enshrouded in questioning or delayed by hours of standing by, but soon your eye will light to see the sunrise. The burdened heart be free as you gaze upon my face. You will be surprised at this fact of my faithfulness. Do not dread the pressure or the tensions this day, for I have measured them out with the abundance of grace I will pour out to meet you in it. Even as I speak, I lift your head, holding your face tenderly with both hands. You feel it don't you? This fresh wave rising in your soul is my love, filling you with uncommon joy and supernatural peace. The rest I am blessing you with now comes straight from my throne room. I have commanded angels to minister to your deepest places of need and refresh your weary soul. You are covered. Just keep walking with me, one step at a time. Together, we will make it. Sometimes it appears that you can't find me, but don't believe the lie. Unforgiveness and jealousy, bitterness and resentment block your eyes, but I am closer than ever. Break free from those weights that would hold you back from flying. Suffer not your soul infections to go untreated, for in my wings I bring healing and liberty from chains that others have put upon you. I have so much more in store if you would only take it. Yes, indeed, the trouble seems endless now. Dark storm clouds fill the horizon in front of you, but just wait. I have said it, and so it will be. Your situation will change suddenly as the winds do. Stay standing through it all. Soon you will shine with every rising of the dawn's light that pierces the gloom. That momentum has changed now, and in your favor. Can you not feel the intensity all around you, quickly starting to crack and crumble? That is my hand, breaking the strongholds that have tried to contain you, and my light exposing the works of darkness. You will finish your course and complete your purpose right on time. There will be no delay. Square your shoulders, lift your eyes from the ground, and march forward boldly and without hesitation. Never fear the waves lapping at your heels, for I will part the waters before you, and you will not get your feet wet walking to the other side. I know it is true that at times carrying my call feels so heavy it is crushing. But have I not promised to bear your burdens when they overwhelm and to be your strength when yours fails? I'll never let you go. I'll never forsake you. So even when you let go, 
I hold on. Even when you give up, I lift you up. I am making a way even now where you see no way. Just keep treading water. Help is on its way. Soon you shall be carried by the tide of my grace propelling you into the fullness of destiny. There lays before thee a life and a great freedom yet to be lived, if only you will not bow to discouragement. The cruel whispers of the tempter nevertheless tire not to keep you from grasping it, making you a prisoner of a past capacity for shame and of present fears of future failure. You do not listen. They are smoke and vapor without substance, meant to obscure your sight, so you cannot see my open arms beckoning you into destiny's greater story still unfinished. My dear child, pass on this light I've placed in you. Share it with someone who needs my presence and encouragement. My most beloved child, may you listen in the whispers of the winds and the rustling leaves to my voice calling you to journey on faith and triumph. From the very genesis of your path, my hand clasped yours, guiding you staidly through the darkest valleys and shadowy realms. Even if the world around you shivers in conflict and your eyes are clouded by the storms of life, remember this, I am that one constant beam of hope in your life. It unfolds the divine promise of this year before you, laden with blessings, prosperity, and the sweet fruits of recognition and respect. But this path will require not only your feet, but also your heart to fully believe in the promise of my eternal word, spoken by the one who took up the cross for your final victory. Feel not unworthy or lesser in my eyes, for my love will transcend all condemnation. You are chosen a beacon of hope and the vessel of blessings for your family. Let the chains of defeatism be no more. I am your comrade in all endeavors. Through me, seek strength each day. Wash your thoughts from despair and strive to have courage in your beliefs. Feed your soul with my education. Let it be your sword and shield in the lives that you lead. Adorn yourself with the virtues of humility and patience and see how your garden of life blooms in blessings so great that earlier it was unimaginable. Triumphs should not be garlanded with elaborate finery, but should be garbed with humility and wisdom. Remember always that the victories of glory were born on the altar of sacrifice. The spark of success ignited, the zeal of your enthusiasm inflamed, and the might of your visions formed. It is here, upon that hallowed ground, that your future was inscribed upon the fabric of creation and your forgiveness sealed. Now behold the grandeur of glory, birthed of the power of my resurrection. I will be with you in good times and bad, your vigilant guardian, your strong provider, your refuge. There will be no loneliness or feelings of neglect entertained, for in my arms you are not alone. Through failure, there shall be no lingering of disappointment or sadness to overshadow your positive demeanor. My words are not scars, only delivered and fulfilled promises. Invictus. In me, defeat has no dominion. Let your heart be a sanctuary of my assurances. You are held in my steadfast embrace. In your heart, reserve a sacred space for me. Here I reside. Do not heed the whispers of I can't. I lack. I am not. For I am the embodiment of capability, abundance, and existence. Stand against your enemies my child, with valor, for I am with you always. My supply is plenteous, and I am the substance of your supply. Hearken to my wisdom, hear me, and proceed boldly toward your goals. Lower not your eyes, I shall raise your vision, for I walk beside you, within my sheltering hand. I am your faithful comrade, who faltered not, there is no deceit in me, and I never change. I am accepting you, just as you are, right now. I share your joy and your pain. I celebrate your victories with you, stand with you in triumph, encourage you when defeated, and offer you my hand when you are down. I am Jesus. I am your Lord. Behold, I am always there. Do not be afraid, for I am your friend. Do not lose heart, nor give your enemies the pleasure of seeing you on your knees. Walk your journey for you and for your own, but also in my name, for my love infinite. Imbibe my way, the path of sorrow to an iron cross taken in love, 
for you, in atonement, in forgiveness, for your freedom, your wholeness, for your redemption. Do remember, within your darkest nights, I walk with you. In bondage we will make it hand in hand. Grasp the nettle, as I promise never to leave you, but to give you strength, encouragement, peace, confidence, consolation, wisdom, courage, and joy. Look into the future, your dreams and longings. There it is not an idle tale. They are the seeds I have sown in you. Therefore, expel from your heart doubt and disbelief. And even when you find yourself amidst scarcity, uncertainty, and injustice, know that this path has been tread before. I assure you, in this world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer in my triumph, for I have overcome the world. Your brave and unyielding heart shall be set alight by the flames of joy and victory. You are the treasure of incomparable value. Your heart glows with beauty. Your soul shines with purity. Your reflection mirrors my own image. Feel the profound truth. You are the one I reflect, the spark of my creation. I breathe my life into you. You belong to me. Your intelligence, diligence, and fearless spirit are a testament to your divine inheritance. Your origin, your wealth or poverty, your perfection or imperfection of the body, Howsoever the rest of the world may look upon you, these do not cancel your value, not in my perception. For you are my love, and I say it to creation and the cosmos. You are my blessedness, which I inherit, enfolded by my love. That is the reason why the enemy looks at you with fearfulness. They know my strong presence in defense, protection, and provision over you. In my presence, you lack nothing. You shall not be like them that turned aside and listened to their adversaries who said orphans should disallow love. They turned and they chose not to follow me, becoming lost and without peace and comfort, or God. But I stand here, unwaveringly, with you. For so long, I've been encouraging you to find faith in my words. My word is the true, full of color, might, and immortality. It enthuses you with faith. It has always been so. I am waiting for you to step forward in greatness and claim your courage. Your enemies are only shadows, do not fear them. Their threats, guilt, regret, and memories have ever been but weak, impotent weapons against you. Trust me, it costs nothing. You were never meant to lose. My will has ever been to lift you on high, to great heights, a beacon of faith, to lay hands on the sick and despairing, to manifest my power through you. And you will stand even in the tempest, and with the authority of my word, you will bring down giants. This is who you are, the valiant, unshakable warrior, filled with holiness, seasoned in heart wisdom, a hero of faith, victorious and triumphant. Embrace and say this within yourself. You are my cherished child, my beloved. My love for you is everlasting, unending. Confide in me and show your belief and love for me. I want to hear you. Let your voice give evidence to these things. You matter to me beyond measure, and I want nothing more than for you to know how deeply you are loved. And still I watch you rise some nights with a sadness so overwhelming that its origin is a mystery even to you. It's a feeling that surfaces unbidden, as though your heart has something it needs to tell you. File this away, because this is important. That feeling is your heart resonating with my Holy Spirit. In the quietness of the morning, at my spirit whispers, calling your name, bringing you back when you start to move away from me. But too many times you are so caught up in the trappings of the day that you do not take one minute to sit and remember me. My spirit gently admonishes you, cautioning about the barrenness that is starting to settle in. As much as you experience sorrow at this point, this is how your soul and spirit and heart grieve. This is a crying and thirst, a longing for the living water to quench it, to heal, and to refresh, to sweep away the turmoil with the calm tide, and bring the peace and serenity back to your emotions. If you feel desolate and thirsty within, it is because you have been away too long from me, and that is something I cannot leave alone. If this persists, your emotions become clouded. In times of trial, 
instead of taking your ordeal at faith value. Such clouded emotions may lie to you to think I am punishing you for broken promises or that I have forsaken you. But that is not my nature. I cannot lie nor deceive. For infinite ways I have shown you that I love, and still much is too weak a word to describe how deeply I love. Come unto me, and I will fill your being with divine sweetness, nourish you, love you so deep that your tears be of joy. A miserable home you shall never have, and far from me you shall never go. You would say so, should come the tears. When others ask me, thou hast and in the tender speech of heaven, clothed wonder indisputably, in thy magnified love for me, surely words of sweet sincerities, and set in me a flame of eternalness. My sorrow was gone. My father dissipated all my giving up thoughts and bestowed me with a new life. I would heal you. I want to bless you. My will is to help and save you. Believe my word and put your trust in my word. Stand unwavering in the days ahead, for I am poised to show forth mighty manifestations of miracles and wonders within your life and family. Sometimes, if I am warning you, I declare what I am bringing into your life and that of your loved ones, all to be prosperity and hope. You shall be expecting remarkable blessings and a far brighter future. I have stored up enough for you. My declarations are settled, they are written in eternity. I will fulfill them. I will bring them to pass. Embrace peace and joy, should you so decide to believe in me. Rest in the assurance of my word and relieve yourself from anxieties regarding the future. Do not permit negative thinking to invade your mind. Worry is a thief of happiness, a veil over the eyes, an energy drainer, and a fog over your spiritual clarity. Walk side by side with me down a path of balanced emotions, peace, and tranquility. I understand your day-to-day -day struggles. Dear child, if this message has stirred your spirit, let your response be known by hitting the like button. It is a simple way to reflect the love I've placed in your heart. He wants to overwhelm you, to scoff at your valor, to give no heed to your faith as if it were vain, and not to believe you to be a follower of my promise. And I, therefore, are, urge you on high to stand, to confront all that restrains and contradicts you, and, uh, girded with my word, go ahead with all your might. Yea, um, even when wearied, yet be certain that I am with thee to strengthen and conduct thee in the ways thou must go. May I assure you, proud enemy, that he cannot do anything against you. All his words, all his shouting, are based on deceit. That whom you will trust, a lying enemy or God who spoke life into you, he commands even the tempests, and my powers are without measure. Although countless people are trying to pull you down, I am the only one who can lift you up. You may fail a thousand times, but I shall save you with grace and love a thousand and one. And in case they try weakening you, a thousandfold will I strengthen you. Indeed, God, if you shall fall, I will raise you. Feel your heart overflowing with all the courage and faith as of a champion, a victorious warrior who, amid fierce fights and jarring conflicts, always is more than conqueror, rising always higher up to the heights of blessing, with your banner unfurled and my presence enthroned within your heart. I am beholding you with eyes of love and tenderness and saying unto all the world, This is my well-beloved child, in whom I am well pleased. You can tell others of your love for me also. Raise up your head this day. You ask your vigor of me. You have come to my countenance, questioning whether any of the blessings you crave will be denied you. Yours have been supplications for sustenance, and I bestow upon you abundantly. You have implored the remedy of your affliction, and I place my hand upon you in wholesomeness. You have wept for your offspring, importuning me for their success and freedom from contention. Be confident, I alone will help, redeem, and rescue the people I have chosen. Just trust in my endless love and might. My grace and mercy are all yours for the asking. Each day you come before me in faith, you honor me by means of the victory I am granting you. Go to meet your life confidently and full of rejoicing, not with fears that deprive your mind of sight. Feel the embrace of my protection and deep love. Remember always, no matter what the circumstance, you never are forsaken. 
Open your heart wide to fully embrace this truth. The past is behind. My love has refashioned you. You now stand a refurbished soul. Your state of mind has been altered. You will no longer be wrecked by sorrow and anger, nor will doubt and despair achieve to shadow your days. Although many have laughed, circling all around you like wolves and inflicting hurt, your choice that you will believe in me has set you on the pathway to claim all the miracles I prize for you. Your enemies will be confounded, and your kindred will see the changed spirit within you. This is the time to let the world witness how my love redeemed you, my power restored you, and my hand brought you out from mistakes and quarrels made in the past. In this very life, you walk with wisdom and patience toward a new journey, a journey to which fear shall never be a companion for you, and you shall not be drawn back and fall to temptation, nor shall anyone put you down. My supernatural power will fill your life with strength and joy to such an extent that your very presence will radiate happiness. You are so dearly loved, and my voice had comforted you many a time. The moment for you to place trust upon me with all your heart is near. The day of your turnabout is here, my child. I will lift you high above the mountains of distress and adversity, above every storm, just like an eagle. You shall soar high up, and by night you will rest in me. I will grant you peace within and promise you new strength. As you awake to your new day, your positive outlook will be way above any obstacle. As an eagle, you will come to realize that I gave you spiritual wings so that you lift up to the sky and reach to the heavens with your prayers. In times of pain or danger, I will be your refuge and shield. Helpers will come in to help you, and my strong arm will hold the shield for you while I give you salvation. I speak these words to you today so that you truly live in joy and relish all my blessings. In my love, your soul will be renewed. I am transforming you. Witness how I work in your surroundings, bringing change. My wish for you is nothing short of the best, and I am your source of daily strength, that you can rise to higher and further heights from the troubles that once stole your peace and troubled your heart. This day I carry with me a message of peace that overflows into your world. I will take my stance before you, against the raging wind that surrounds you, thereby calming the storm that tries to get at you. The sun will rise at my behest and light will be thrown on your path to carry you through. You will stand sure and firm, like the mighty tree with roots buried deep into fertile soil. It's how I am going to steady your steps on the journey towards triumph, shape you into such an unyielding and robust being that nothing will shake you no matter what type of adversity dares get into your way. If you need to soar, I will give you wings. If you need strength to face a problem, I will equip you with unwavering unease in the inside. In times of doubt, when the days are against you, I will grant you wisdom to rise and apply victory within any situation. Today, I have come to restore your strengths, making you become harder than stone, powerful more than any giant that you'll meet. Your prayers are musical to me, and your faith pleases me very much. Every morning, beholding your faithfulness to me, bringing time and space with you, my heart fills with exuberant joy. Your true presence of honor, your petitions, your acclaims, and your devotions, you are precious to me. Your honesty sets my heart on fire with wondrous delight. You are immaculate with your truthfulness, and your trust is pure. Life has chipped your self-concept at places. But hear me say from my own mouth, you have the heart of a right person. You have failed many times, but you always come back to me contrite, looking for another chance. This is the opportunity that I gladly open up to you each day, as long as you come to me in faith. Be assured that every time you come in prayer with faith to obtain your desired blessings, I shall answer. But in my own time, I know that you will wait with patience for that time. Do not despair, for the blessings on their way. My promises are firm and unshakable. My word is eternal. My power continually operates in your life. But your faith and loyalty keep you going. By your faith, I perform greater miracles in order for you to take abundance that I give to you. Neither must you return to that disbelief which used to hold you back when you struggled to accept the wonders within my reach. You just assumed it was past your limit because of a gap in faith. 
but I now relish your growth and the lessons you learned. Those are what have now flushed you into full bloom. Then you are well informed of how your faith not only empowers you to make critical decisions, but also keeps your heart safe from wickedness. Births obedience and activates my word in your life. Even if your faith seems as minute as a mustard seed, in my eyes it is monumental. You're beginning to see all around you change, your prayers answered, your heart robust, and even more remarkable miracles in the path I'm taking you down. Reach out your hand and hold on to mine. Our journey's end is near. For I am gracing your life with tenderness, like a guardian saint full of love. You can settle right into my arms, which are wrapping you up in a protective coat a sanctified shield from anything that could bring you harm here. Know well that I am fully aware of the overwhelming, staggering difficulties you are under. I see your vigorous efforts, your unwavering striving, and I feel your moments of despair. It is in these times that I affirm my steadfast loyalty to you. The best thing you have done this day is to believe in me and put all your burdens and needs down on this table. I know you cannot carry them, that is why I am here to be your help and strength. My wish is to give you healing, for my intentions for you are nothing but good, peace, and abundance. You are, and forever will be, special to me, and I will hold you dear in my heart always. I love you boundlessly and I am devoted eternally to keep reaching out to you like I am doing right now. You woke up today dejected, spirit weary, and body tired. Joy feels like it's a million miles away from you and people around you just don't seem to care to show an ounce of love. But remember, I am here with you. I have not been occupied with other matters. Neither have I forgotten my love for you. You are so very important to me. I'm not thinking about all the transient things. I just keep my attention on your eternal destination, your everlasting joy, and your final salvation. So I sincerely hope that after you finish listening today, you will not forget what you have heard. Your soul shall be replenished, your force multiplied, and a new anointed supernatural life shall arise within you. Perhaps you did not even consciously look for a direct word for your life, but here you sit listening. And the more you listened, the more determined you became not to turn back. So now breath a smile and realize that I did not speak to others and forget you. Feel free to use your quiet moments to stay in touch with me and never feel that you are alone. I am both your father and a friend. Your heart should be kept full of thankfulness because of this. Child, in this place, you will find hope and encouragement through my words. Subscribe to stay connected to the messages that uplift your soul and bring you nearer to my love. Remind yourself so you can hear it all over again. You are never alone. I will fill you with my breath, fortify your soul, and saturate you with my love. Greatness in all areas of your life is yours. Think for a moment about the many difficulties you have confronted, the many conflicts you have battled with and the number of tests you have undergone, but you have been able to stand through it all, strong and courageous. Truly, your resilience and determination touch me. I wish to write you this letter to remind you that you shouldn't be scared at all. Do not let your dreams be robbed because of fear. Dream big without any kind of fear in the face of challenges, knowing well enough that I am here to help you to accomplish all that you want to achieve. Consider how brave you have been and think about really difficult situations that you have overcome. Since the day you put your life in my hands, you've never lost a battle. Now let your heart be at peace and keep trusting in me. For sure, it is difficult to be calm and have faith when all seems to be in chaos and all around you is conflict. But then, my child, stop the voices of your enemies. Fear not to the whispers of fear. Keep going. Keep leaning on my promises. I love you so much. Even before you were born, I was laying out huge plans for your life. I am the mastermind of every detail, every moment, supervising, watching over you. Sorrow should not take plantation in your heart, I will plant joy in your heart. Walk with faith holding a perspective for victory. I have prepared for you that which no eye has ever seen. My love for you has no end, and every dawn will give you a new realization of my presence. You shall feel freshly born when the dawn breaks. In your quest, prayers, and as you come to unburden your soul, 
hear my voice in your heart. I shall go on speaking to you, when again at those times you may not feel like listening. When you are seized by fatigue and discouragement, when your labors seem futile or when the urge to go on living and fighting ebbs away, I shall not move from your side. Your doubts are powerless to make me leave. I shall never desert you at times of your own hesitations, for my loyalty knows no faltering. I made this God kind of love for you. It is what I want you to trust me for and what I want you to experience. Fall down on your knee and love me with all the strength within you. At this moment, the miracle begins. Today, if you will confess your belief in me, I'll work wonders and marvels in your life. My love for you crosses the timeline of eternity. I will lead you down the paths of righteousness. It is not within my desire that you would walk within darkness. It is my desire that you feel surrounded by the love and protection. This is my will for you. Your faith delights me, and your belief is an act of worship to my throne. In worship of me, peace and strength will flow into your soul. Continue to pursue me, and I will shine the way for you. The hardships of these times are such, and I will uphold you when you become weak, when your faith will have faltered and you will not feel me by your side. I will still be there with you. I will lead you, hold your hand, or carry you in my arms if need be. You have loved, you have made friends, you have given your time. I have loved in return. I am immutable. You know, in your testings I do not change. Do not be intimidated in times of testing by the test in this world. Be unafraid. Your omnipotent God declares nothing is too hard for me. Begin this life of yours with astonishing miracles, my love. Lend an attentive ear and listen acutely unto my voice. Let my words find a dwelling place within you during this time of serenity and peace. Let your heart be yearning for stability, joy, and contentment in your life. I don't want you troubled by the things you lack, by time gone by and the ones who left and left you weeping. Indeed, ages ago, the enemy tried convincing you that my love had cooled, that your pain was fact that I had abandoned you. But now you are feeling my presence, and you're believing the truth, that I love you so much. And I truly say, my child, that I will not abandon you. But it is the Holy Spirit who will inbreathe you with his awesome glory and bless you with abundance. For you are most precious in my eyes. I know you will remain steadfast in your faith. May I send blessings from the very beginning of your day to soothe your heart and soul with serenity and joy. It is my wish that you feel safe inside, knowing yourself enveloped within my love and eternally safeguarded by my protection. Disheartened and blue, I would have today be the day of comfort. Lay thy head on my bosom, feel the warmth and the tenderness of mine embrace. Be at peace, O oh, my child, be soothed. This phase shall pass, our, and soon all will be well. Turn thy gaze from thy malaise, close with reverence thy eyes, and feel how my spirit doth envelop thee. Sing from thy lips with thy heart, splash about in the river of my love. I assure you, that the time of your troubles is not far. Things will change for the better very soon. I bless you that the most splendid and magnificent possibilities come successively to you. You serve one purpose, and I have given you that purpose, your family. Hollows will be there. Trying times are part of your journey and transformation. But know this, that this day you are clothed with my love, and unto every moment that shall come, you be armed. Be not afeard, Neither despair, for today am I with you to give you even more wisdom, love, and power. I am with you to lead you steps in the danger-filled ways and adversities with care. I really mind so much about the way you feel and highly respect your wishes. I have been informed about your visions, dreams, and projects and also touched by the good qualities in you. You occupy a special place in my heart, considering the key of love kindness, and forgiveness you hold. Your example will inspire many around you, leading them away from feelings of inadequacy and into the realization of wonderful plans I have in store for their lives. I promise you that my favor will always be over your life. My loving eyes will look at you, and my strong hand will empower you. 
You will be a light in darkness for those in search of my direction. Be bold and stretch the opportunities that come on your way. I will ensure nobody disturbs you. Believe in me for I have faith in you and I promise to be with you through thick and thin while I still breathe. I love you much. You have called out to me, sought my help with tears, and yearned for answers. Today I stand here in response to those questions, to those tears. I provide you with love and consolation for that pain in your heart, my child. I factor nothing in this world and remain watchful on all that befalls in your life, the lives of the members of your family. And I call upon you today to a moment in time that you stand in your faith. Be faithful and pray every day. Your heart I will keep full of peace and your mind full of wisdom. You have learned very much through these years. As you have spoken to me sincerely and faithfully in the midst of your strife, and now you are fitted to decide in the way that your choice will be full of wisdom and profit. You have seen that never have I been absent from your side in these ordeals. I was defending you and keeping other hurdles out of your life. The enemy was still trying to work on you through ways you hadn't realized, and you were being shielded in ways you can't even begin to fathom. Today, I am about to deliver unto you the blessing and miracle that you've desired earnestly. Stand up right now. Stop crying and go to the door because behold, it's I who calls thee. Hold it firm and I will guide your hand, showing you prosperity in a land totally prepared for you. I am giving you unique strength. I shall bless you so much, you shall rise above levels even unimaginable by your enemies. I shall no more let anyone cause you insult. I am opening the door so huge that you will marvel at the immensity of the blessings and solutions that pour into your life. You will cry. However, it will be tears of joy over the empowerment that I fill you with through my Holy Spirit. Get up. Brush off the tears immediately. Walk out of the house and greet life with the smile of a conqueror. Today I have talked to you plain. May my blessing be upon you. Step on your path without stumbling. Look well. Be ready. Because in these next days, I shall reveal you a mighty secret. Indeed, Make thee know my wondrous love as thou hast never known before. My child, there comes a new dawn, it does approach. You shall be bestowed upon with abundant blessings, and ever shall thou remember that I am your shepherd. In my care, you shall lack nothing. I am your wellspring, everything that you have missed will be gained by you without a doubt. I am your healer, enveloping you in my love. I give healing unto thee and I shall cover you under my wings. In the stillness of my shadow, you shall find your sanctuary. My word is truth, my promises are sure, and everything beautiful I have said to you, every promise I have made, shall be brought to fulfillment. For I am God, and I speak nothing but the truth. I shall bring you firmly through what I have purposed for you, across the seasons and in all the events of your life. I am with you, whatever the scale of the test you are undergoing. Even when a miracle seemed to be but an impossible dream, you trusted me with all your heart and surrendered to my will. Sin once divided you from me, it made would be many victims of you. They condemned, hurt, humiliated, and ill-treated you. They declared you a failure and tried to curse you, almost robbing you of your blessings. You were aghast and you wondered if truly this was to be your lot. Yet as I did before, so will I do again. I came with understanding, grace, love to forgive, and gentleness. Again, I lifted you from the depths of despair. Beloved, be my messenger of hope. Share this message with someone who is waiting for my touch in their life. Doubt not, do not hesitate. Proclaim with your voice and without compromise that you will not abandon me irrespective of what will happen or whosoever will be against you. In all your ways, you are forever bound to prosper. For I have loved you more than you can ever know. You prayed to me in all passion, on bended knees, with tears and sincere pleadings for a miracle. You asked for my answer. Today, I am here to reveal to you what I will do for you. Today, even when things seem to be on the hard edge, I am here to empower you. 
so shall your heart be filled with tears of joy. For I tell you that your miracle for which you have been praying with great earnestness is about to unfold. It is that long-held desire, not fulfilled now, that will soon turn into reality. You have faced your trial and are now ready. Your patience has not been unseen. Your prayers have reached my ears with a sweet, harmonious sound. Changes, I am preparing to put circumstances in your favor. I will fulfill your most longed-for desires and remove all frustration from your heart. I will take away all want that has been a sore in your life and that of your family. And I will heal and purge all kinds of sicknesses. Your faith is reaching. Glorious changes will soon be seen before your eyes. You will realize the worth you are to my sight. Although there were times of deep sorrow, as if you were unloved or unblessed by me, this day you shall feel the warm, wonderful embrace of my love within your heart. I have spoken, therefore so be it. It is ordained in the heavens, therefore so shall my words be for you. No foe can ever hinder my plan for you. I am bestowing wholeness and joy to you. Your good will be in abundance. Rejoice and walk staunchly. Go forth with belief. Let the world detect mirth in your walk. Walk sure-footed. Munch on my voice. Respond to my address so that you may not trip. My love for you is eternal. My peace is everlasting. And the strength I offer you is to stand up to any situation or test. I don't leave those whom I love, um, and you know it. Declare your faith. Declare your belief. Amen. My dear children, in this great and beautiful day, be reminded that you are most favored, for I have regarded you as the perfection of my people. No matter the trouble coming your way, never sober, for I am with you. Some come to me but still feel like something is missing, as if my salvation and blessings are not enough. Of course, what they have in mind are lives of suffering and poverty as par for the course in following me. But I tell you, child to ain't nothing that could be further from the truth. On my covenant with faithful Abraham, I swore that through his line all families of the earth would gain a blessing. It is by faith in me that you are spiritual sons and daughters of Abraham, so this sworn covenant blessing is your birthright too. I will bless those who align with my will and word walking in loving blessing towards my covenant children. This is eternal promise to you. Before time was, I beheld thee, loved you, and appointed blessings upon blessings to flow into your life. Yea, even in times that are trying in your life. Take a closer look, and you will see my hand moving for your good. Your enemy is trying to stop my flow of blessings through the dams of lies, fear, and accusations but mightily. My tidal wave of loving power and grace breaks through for you. What is one dart of a lie to a tsunami of my truth and light? It's mere smoke and mirrors. Fear not, neither allow doubts to take root. I have overcome already. Some of you have already sensed the movement of my spirit into your life. Even as you began to know my favor this past year, the enemy tried counterattacks to limit and harass you. But just as certainly, those barriers broke. My river of life cannot be contained. Those who are currently being flooded with accusatory attacks, forever be assured on my promises. Take hold of my power, for you are my ambassadors of kingdom authority on the earth. Even though the enemy bombards you with lies, you have the dominion to capture those thoughts. Tear down his strongholds in my name, and my name alone. You will rise higher. The darkness cannot overcome the light and truth that I have put in you, not by your might, but by my spirit. Move ahead, leading out of the power of my loving nature, for it is victorious over all. Be good to those who persecute you. This conformity to my heart of reconciliation testifies to my kingdom, disarming the evil one's slanders against me and mine. His condemnation becomes praise for love and righteousness. Be still and know that I am God. In this silence your forgiveness rests and unites all minds into my own. Walking the higher road, I bring justice and unseen redemption. Eventually, every enemy knee will bow before me. Many of you have felt worn by the howling winds of adversity, contrary to my promises and direction. 
Now you have been given authority to speak to the howling gales of trial and trouble and say no more. Order them in line by my desires for you, and it surely shall be. For there is no power in heaven or on earth that is greater than that effectuated by my power through you. He fell from the highest of highs down to the lowest of lows. However, you have kept position above him. And where you stand assured of your rightful place of authority, fear can find no footing within you. So walk with these lions of courage and eagles of vision, seeing from my viewpoint of triumph and victory already won for you, my beloved, purchased at the highest of cost. Remember, for this pearl of great price without price, clothe yourself, therefore, in praise and thanksgiving for this eternal inheritance of life and power. So pronounce a uh, spiritual experiences of this kind in my name, say it, decree it, and declare it until it becomes a reality around you. For not one thing of what I desire to give you shall be removed from you. Not one thing of what shall be good for my covenant children walking by faith and united with my heart of selfless love shall be kept back. All that I spoke this morning over you while you was asleep, all amidst the busyness of your day, I wanted to remind you who you are, who I am, and my great purpose for your life. Before you, I open seas, let you by a pillar of cloud and of fire, slew wicked giants on your behalf, and brought you finally into a land of good promise. I have shown myself to you so many times to be faithful and true. Why would today be any different when it comes to delivering on your behalf? He that keeps you neither slumbers nor sleeps. Never doubt my desire or power to save, heal, provide, and guide into blessings beyond your wildest imagination. So again I say to you on this day, remember all I have already done for you. I am doing even now behind the scenes and will continue to do it as you keep on walking in faith with me. Keep your eyes and your heart fixed on my kingdom and my righteousness, letting the work of my spirit overflow and touch everything effortlessly and tangibly in the world around you. Step by step, I am going to change the earth, clothe it with the light of heaven, and bathe it in my love, and very soon with all your joys, you shall cry again, God did again, hallelujah. For streams in the wasteland, flowers in parched deserts, life from death, and beauty from ashes, this is my specialty. My dears, never forget, my beloved, that I see you. I see where you have come from, five years ago, ten years ago. Do you remember the bondages that wrapped your soul as cords, desperation smelling as a robe till you cried for freedom? How you beseech the Lord with tears and asked Him to provide a financial and spiritual breakthrough. You begged for open doors where the ways appeared closed. You asked for opportunities when they had all passed you by. And, like a flash at the midnight hour, rays of my glorious light burst through, provision when lack threatened to swallow you up, favor that opened doors which formerly were closed tight, blessings you needed yet never thought to ask for. Yes, my child. I have done that for you. I've come through again and again in faithfulness, and in the power I promise. Question not whether I shall continue to show myself strong on your behalf. Ways may change. New things come up with new seasons. But my powerful love for you remains steady, ever seeking to pour over you unlimited and good gifts. My beloved, without faith, it is impossible to please me. This you know. To walk in intimacy with me, you must believe I am an eager rewarder of them that diligently seek me. Some of you need deeper trust, a faith that rises higher to receive all I have prepared for you. Doubt holds you back, entangles your feet so you cannot run with endurance. Whispers suggest, has God really blessed you? What more can He do? Silencing praise and choking hope, I tell you, come boldly to my throne of grace and ask for vibrant faith. Admit the wavering, the tendency to distrust. When storms rage on every side, let my spirit ignite belief until doubts are burned away like the chaff in windswept fields. Soak in my word until promises saturate mind, will, and emotions with confident assurance. As you yield more full to me, so faith shall rise higher on updrafts of the spirit. And the more your faith grows, the more impossibilities will be made to bow before the King of glory. Answers to such prayers as do bulldoze over mountains. 
My beloved child, if this message has touched your heart, show your love by pressing that like button. Let this small act be a testimony of your faith. You see, beloved, abundant life is rather about approaching me so that I may draw you nearer still. Now I tell you how it becomes impossible to walk close to me without seeing miraculous blessings poured upon blessing. Gifts and talents will spring forth and multiply. Opportunities will come to seek you out instead of your grasping after them in vain. That's why every step you surrender and every day to my unfolding plan will be followed by signs, wonders, and acceleration. For, as you know, my beloved, being mature in me means greater authority and anointing. The higher your character has been refined by the fires of adversity, the expanded capacity for more of my glory will be. So, the deeper I dig wells in your soul, the higher life in the spirit soars. And in this, and the younger often far surpass the older ones who, although began their race with great zeal, afterward got into a state of complacency and did not progress farther. Relationship gives way to religion, and they settle for outward routine rather than inward renewal. How different will it be for you, my love? No resting place will you find for stagnation, for my love calls you ever deeper as my spirit reveals more of my goodness day unto day. Building faith upon faith, you are going from glory to glory, strength to strength. As you yield wholeheartedly to embrace all I have for you, without effort, kingdom influence overflows, and the closer your life region is conformed to my purposes, the more destiny is realized. As Jacob of old wrestling with the angel, obtain the blessing tenaciously, contending till there is full manifestation of all that I have said. I've spoken. I have said it. Now speak boldly, my word until you walk in its reality. Command breakthrough. Declare open doors. Envision destiny fulfilled so faith and sight align at last. These are the truths and the power no longer withholds its display toward my loved ones on earth or in heaven. Let anything rise in opposition to that which I have established for you. I will shake the very cosmos itself until blessings, reserved for you, break forth in great and mighty waves. I will overturn the enemy's schemes, make wrongs right, do whatever is required to usher forth your generational inheritance that has been held in store this entire time, before time began. No power, no principality will stop it. I will pack your life until it overflows with glory until you effervesce with my potent presence, beauty and strength. Yes, seek first my face alone, beloved. Let nothing take your eyes from the revelations of love becoming even more deeply loved as you yield to my embrace. For time spent with me guarantees an abundant life, full to the brim, spiritually, emotionally, and tangibly. Every need shall be met, every good desire of your heart shall be pleased so long as you walk, hand within my hand. New blessings, new revealings of my goodness, await at every new turning of your path. A life that is rich in testimonies of my faithful love, ever interwoven through the days, more than enough joy made full, the best of the wine of Canaan saved until last. This cascading waterfall of grace and glory, dear one, is but the beginning. So come, come away with me, Maureen. To mountain heights of vision bathed in light. Take my hand. Together we go exploring the wild unknown, eternal adventures with your companion who spoke existence into being by the power of sheer love. No need escapes my notice, no desire of yours disregarded. Thus do I answer this yearning for more of me, with infinite increase in our oneness. I have so much more in store. I call out to you this day to remind you that all power and authority belong to me alone. Do not be deceived or distracted by the illusions in this world. The silver and the gold are mine, the money, and all that is of time, have I entrusted to the hand of my will. And there be those who know me not who have believed that all this wealth is the kingdom, that power over riches becomes power over fates. But always is my word true. That which you see hath been of the infinite that is my storehouse in the skies. When or of what measure do I give? This is for me alone to know. The glory I have for you will outshine what you've been through. I caused my prophets to speak. The brightness of the days ahead will exceed all that you desire and that you remember with me in your new home. What I did on your behalf, 
or what I did with you, was only a portent of what I have in store. Be strong, for I am brewing up wonders, miracles, answers to your deepest cries, gifts coming from my throne room that will leave you in awe. There are many wonderful and amazing promises that I have one day placed upon your heart. Promises of peace with you always, not the superficial absence of trials, but of my very presence filling your dwelling places and flowing through all of your moments. And I will give you peace and prosperity together because I am God, not man. I do not leave any gift half completed. You will have a rich heritage in me, a place to stay amidst my creation. And this one will be full of signs and glimpses pointing to my glory. If where you live now is uncertain and you find yourself wandering or in some temporary lodging, know that I am securing a new place for you. I promise you that your next warm, sturdy home will be better and brighter than anything you've seen before. Because it's a promise from me, for the earth and everything in it is mine. I made the skies appear, sculpted this land, brought forth enormous ocean and rivers, to my call, to my will, they all respond. Tell me, beloved, if whole galaxies swirl into my desire, what miracle would I not birth for you? What gift would I not turn loose into your hands through my armies of angels? I align opportunities, open doors that once were locked tight. I set the compass of your life toward me again and again. When the Father extends his scepter to someone, my children, the sea of blessings and favor runs in. But know too that my grace ever enwraps you, enough for today, for tomorrow, all your years. I waver not upon my throne, nor shrink in power like human lords. Majesty cements my vision, splendor garments my decisions. Because heaven's king wields earth's keys, you may freely inherit every promise. Lift your heads, you walk crowned with destiny, for I have commissioned legions of angels to ensure the safe passage of your arrival. I want you to realize the influence under which you are coming to inherit as my children. You have the power to speak things that are not as though they were. Call forth wonders from my dimension to appear all about you. Decree my kingdom to increase where darkness is pushing against the fringes of my light. The voice with which you speak sends reverberations through the corridors of heaven. Your prayers then vibrate through the realms unseen, activating legions of angels on your word. Child, it is from your mouth that the substance of authority flows. It is your words that are the power which can change reality itself as you speak in my name. Stand up and bless the world with words that liberate those who are in captivity, cheering and igniting change. Just as I formed Adam out of the soil of the earth and breathed into him that breath of life intimate to him, so now I form the character of humanity. I sand away imperfections, inscribing the canvas of the soul with my features. I light that inner light inside you, showing the tranquil paths through life's wilderness. Stay near and let us walk together. Let me guide your steps through destiny's gates, into the flowering field of promise that I have prepared. My goodness and mercy will go with you every day, even in the valley of shadows. You won't need to be afraid because I am near, my voice murmuring comfort, strategies for survival, rock footholds in the climbs, my precious child. I call you to join this circle of faith where my voice will strengthen and inspire you. Subscribe to receive the messages that will lift your spirit higher. Then you will find that you are already fully known, and in the way to know, even as you are fully known, you will come to the last slope. In the meantime, follow thou me, good steward and true shepherd. I will not presume to let one lamb at such a price go astray. My healing fingers are laid gently, as it were a benediction, upon your head. I seal you with my bounty, fat and sweet as oil. Soon shall it well up out of the heart within you, Soon shall you not hold back. CD reaches its hands to other dimensions, homes, relationships, projects, and communities. Whenever somebody crosses your path, they get a bit of that light shown on them. Whenever someone touches you, they learn and are inspired and are blessed by association. For as my boys and girls are walking this terrain, they are living letters, missives sent from heaven's court to shout the story of redemption. You shout liberation all over the globe. You are the very voice of my care. Even now, 
Realities shift as I speak my kingdom through you. The chains fall and turn to dust as my power fills your words. Captives turn their faces towards the sunrise of new possibility. And even the cynical and tired find inside themselves the courage to hope again. Tomorrow has a new script written. All the while you give over your voice to my song. Your life is smashed into eternal purpose. Every time we are in communion, you start to recognize how precious you are and how important the role you play that I wrote for you. Your every smallest act of trust fans my flames higher across every horizon. My children, I have placed gifts inside you, rich deposits of creative genius, leadership skills, artistic talent, scientific aptitudes, wisdom poured through lineage and experience. Now I ask you to pour all these treasures back into my work. Spend yourself beautifying, telling truth, meeting needs tenderly, as I modeled. Focus every gift on acts that sound my heart, sharing, compassion, healing for people and nations. You play a co-redemptive role in the restoration of all things. This is your ministry of reconciliation. My hands, my feet, my voice manifest on earth at this hour. Oh, how I long to allow my glory to be seen through you. Answer the very deepest desires of my heart as you empty yourself as a life lived for me. Here is where you worship me in spirit and in truth each time that you answer the highest of callings. You were made for this, beloved. I have declared these words concerning you, my beloved child. They identify who you are in me and they light the very ways I have orchestrated for you this moment. Yes, my voice is the song of long-anticipated answers to the deepest cries of your heart. Yes, I hear you. Indeed, I know the very ins and outs of your travel, where the way has narrowed behind walls, or split, hidden by fog just ahead. But now see the vista folding out ahead, broad and straight and lined with possibility, somatic wonder and undeserved provision, groups of friends, the highway that I prepare through deserts, the trail that I secure through wildernesses, you shall finish your marathon well and strong. The most majestic part of your leg still awaits in passing between realms unseen and seen alike here and in eternity. Beloved child, the time is bound in shadowed seasons. Do you recall when I first spoke your name, how my spirit moved your heart, as it does the fine meadow, from the kiss of dawn? You lay there to the cradle of complacency, yawned through by routine, which cost so little in sacrifice or daring faith. And I click right here, right here, just in time, that though there was peace on the surface of life, underneath, I could feel your soul's wild waters churning. Restless tides, cries muffled of yearning for adventure and purpose, piercing walls you'd built around you carefully. And I bid you come out under the big, wide open, greatest invitation, would you not go see glories unspeakable, your wildest dreams scarcely could tell? For I made you for more than a world of endless tedium, O oh, love. I formed your heart to be mine and designed it for exquisite risk, waking up, for becoming the story I always envisioned written across the stars and tally marked through time before the clocks began ticking. Yes, I had us in mind when I imagined those first delicate anemones unfurling in ancient tides. I saw you in Crimson Maple's inaugurated Autumn's Carnival millennia ago. Long before you knew me, I was whispering your name. What revelations lie in what sounds of your laughter? What unexplored terrain you traverse when, at last, you fully yield every earthly security to the embrace of my call? Spread out those furling hopes, beloved. All those secret dreams and desires held too tight lest the jarring grit and gravel of life shred their silken walls. Here in our one sheltering oneness they will bloom untrammeled, nourished within the weave of my own sustaining presence. Walk with me past the insistent critics into love's great mystery, and learn who you are unshielded before me. For I wove your life through a mirror to reflect my steadfastness, that glorious attribute of mine which will not fail. All these vain preoccupations clutter the glass, Thicken your view. Busyness smears the image until you forget you were meant to be the vessel, to offer and show forth my glory. Clearing clutter becomes important if you would see your life align with meaning. Encounter me more clearly. 
How I long to have you see the weave of your day through with golden threads of my bidding. Every longing answered, every fear stilled, until my reality displaces all illusion. But one thing is necessary. See only me and you will be changed. My darling child, why do you believe in all those illusions of feudalism, the world dangling these carrots to make you an obedient person? The promises of status and security are but empty consolation prizes, as if those were the peaks the human heart was made for. No, I have made you for greater depths and higher heights. Can you not feel destiny's current stirring, tugging you to the horizons that blazed across your young inner sky? What flutters along the inside of you with its secrets, whispered still to the listening ear of tonight? When all the clamor of business is dead, my dreams are those which fired from the first kindling in your heart. Beloved, the hope begotten in the virgin soil, soft, tender sprigs that reach toward the break of day and the comforting warmth of the sun. Long before the critics' lingually shriveled confidence, long before rejection's tattooed wounds of shame, you knew how to celebrate joy and dance freely with abandon. There still, beneath accumulated assurances of promises, fears, and regrets, lives that untamed, innocent soul, one with rhythms of earth, lullabies of night, winged songs of skylarks, the one who dreamt of rivers and butterflies. That very creator made you. How could dim eyes of clay see what I wrote on your soul with destiny's pen, and then question how the potter views his clay in contemplation? Listen only for my voice, confirming your identity, revealing your purpose line by line. Block out all the clanging lies that would bury your beauty, cancel your call. My truth unfolding through your faith will drown their cacophony. Do you remember when first you felt destiny tugging like currents in a shoreless sea? When desire woke like spring cracking through winter's barren landscape? Songs and canvases, footlights seduce, through these, life beckoned you, did it not? The world claps hardest for those daring to draw breath from a flame burning inside. Yet somewhere between youth's tender blossom and the broken flower of maturity, the song fell silent. For while applause invites muses to hum from ear to ear, rebuke throws darting arrows that wound brittle bravery. Did you, in retrospect, play the critics out of balance in time, my child? Don't you have it yet? You will manifest my creativity, allegiance, compassion on the earth. Why then do you fear the visibility the doing life in front of others. Since before time was, I had enjoyed you, made you for my hurting world. Beauty, or truth, redemption stream from our unhindered oneness. But most of my children turn this truth to fantasy, forsake the everlasting quest and chase after dreams forever out of reach. They live with hands clutched around concealed desires until death silences the heart singing. The unwritten stories. Not you, Beloved, not when infinity of life courses in your veins, with unquenchable light sparkling in your eyes. You who refuse to let romance die while to risk mysteries cannot be played dead. No tomb could ever hold your radiant soul. Arise. Take step forward toward identity with bold hands. Embrace darkness and uncharted ground. Follow the untamed spirit of love, deeper inside lion's dens, threats of giants, superpower of Egypt, and intimidation. For only one applause matters, mine alone. What dreams yet perch and linger to hear within your heart? What vision, creative impulses did I birth in you that remain voiceless still? Beloved, arise, it is time, past time, to sing life's irresistible song. Hardship will come. The critics question rejection hit repeated blows, but you were bound before time began to push through to make it to the day. Hope will revive all dreams once declared dead. My heart, do you see the first light of dawn hitting the eastern horizon? The night season passes away as I introduce something new, the old molds and mindsets, the fears and failures that clung to you like grave clothes. I strip them off now, roll the stone away. What good fruit can grow in yesterday's shadows and sorrows? No, my child, I call you higher, fuller, freer into destiny's broad places, a land I have prepared overflowing with promise. Leave at the base all those extra weights that hold you back to the lower trails and to the small dreams. I have a spread banquet table prepared for you right in front of the face of your enemies, 
adding the doubters too. I will fill your cup running over as you step out in bold faith in me. Every hollow place, every place that feels empty, I will fill with yet even deeper purpose. Where brokenness has marred the reflection of the identity's face, my hand of healing will restore beauty better than before. It's when you hand me your dreams that I start weaving miracles that leave you breathless. My beloved child, share this light with those who need it most. Pass this message on to uplift the weary hearts around you. I choose the foolish to shame the wise, the weak to shame the strong. Unlikely heroes and heroines shall rise from obscurity, right on time, answering my summons with wide-eyed wonder. Power breathes through those willing vessels who offer themselves in trust and availability. Out of surrendered souls, mighty rivers flow. Never question, dear one, that I long to pour my glory through you. If you stay too afraid to risk, too proud to really trust me, you shall never know the heights and depths possible. I have heard your cries for provision, seen how so many of you struggle to just meet basic needs. My heart breaks, for it was never my design for your lives to be so full of lack and hardship. I decree over you on this day that the coming year shall bring in blessings and breakthroughs beyond what you have ever seen. Even now, as I release divine strategies from my heavenly realm, I will download wisdom and ideas directly into your spirits on how to steward the resources that I am preparing to pour out. These are not the plans of worldly systems or human understanding, but they come from the very throne room of God. I will give you creative solutions on how to create and maximize wealth to live abundantly to be able to provide for your family and fund the visions that I have birthed in your hearts. The previous season has been tough, but the new year should bring about a dramatic change and financial release. The climate is changing. I want to remind you of my goodness and delight to prosper my children. I find much pleasure in the prospering of my servants. My blessings are not meant for you to keep to yourself. They are to overflow from your life to others. As I provide for you, Extend that generosity and share what I have given. Some of you already have something stirring in your heart, even if you can't see the whole thing. Get going on doing the background work or laying down the structure. Be faithful with the small beginning, and I will bring it to maturity in my perfect timing. When I am teaching you to plow the field, yes, then be diligent and expectant before ever the clouds of provision begin to gather. Be in constant season when the environment looks fruitful and when it doesn't, and you shall be ready to reap a full harvest when your time of rain comes. Never forget, all true prosperity finds its origin in me. I own the cattle on a thousand hills. Every bountiful gift that comes descending into your lives is from my hand. Have I not promised to give you power to gain wealth? Therefore humble yourselves when abundance comes. Acknowledge me as the giver. Steward faithfully that which I bestow and bring glory to my name. Beloved ones, confidently expect the unveiling of my blessings, both spiritual and material, in coming days. May your hearts remain soft and pliable as I direct you in this new era. Seek you first my kingdom. Trust the leadership of my spirit. As you align with my purposes, you will see provision like never before. A mighty outpouring of resources, ideas, God-ordained connections, opportunities, these things are about to manifest. Get ready. Position yourselves to receive all that I have prepared for you, my treasured one. I see some of you questioning if this promise is really meant for you. Let me assure you, my heart, plans, and benefits reach out to every single child that I created. Not even one is excluded from my loving care and desire to pour out blessings, release doubt, fear, and reliance on human strength, beloved. All you need is adopt the mentality that with me, nothing is impossible. My child, come hearken to my voice. I've been waiting to speak to you to share what's on my heart. A time full of meaning and important things I'm orchestrating from behind the scenes. As the great shift is coming and shifting the seen and unseen, it's redefining and rebuilding. I am the sovereign weaver of the tapestry of the nations and peoples as I lead them into new territories. This was purposed for them before time began. Now, the dimension of my plans is far broader than you have eyes to see. But I will give you glimpses if you will draw near. Inside my kingdom, there is escalating activity, rumblings just beneath the surface. To them, 
the door unbeknownst, opened, is to have the eyes to see it. Because they understand its meaning, they know that at critical moments in time, an acceleration into being has been breathed. It will demand for this new era, coming quickly into shape, from us a very deep preparation and sobriety of spirit. The stakes are very high, and I am watching for those willing to pay the price that its advent demands. Many in this hour shall be called home, saints entering into their eternal reward. Do not be startled at this, for their race was well run, they finished strong and now wear victor's crowns, ones laid at my feet in worship around my throne. Now their mantles are released upon the earth. Call forth that rising remnant I have groomed in obscurity, my Davidic breed. The transition you see in the natural speaks of what I am birthing in the spirit. Heed the signs, for they are arrows aiming to guide the wise with an understanding of my heart and the ability to heed my timing. I am rocking systems, unseating ones entrenched in seats of authority, some swayed by vain ambition and the need to build their kingdoms rather than mine. Blurred was their vision. Much mixture has been evidenced, but no more. No place will remain for houses erected on sand. Storm winds will ensure their collapse. Be assured, saints, the pandering stops here. It is jig time for all those riding the coattails of this movement yet resisting my refinement. I am cleaning house. Those that remain are ones in whose hearts a singular beating after mine occurs. These forerunners model and steward what is next in righteousness, character, and integrity. The stakes are too high for anything less. Many hungry, prepared ones now come out from the wilderness shadows. I designed them to be obscure. That lonely, testing journey was relevant for the shaping of their character. Today, they shine with the brilliance of pure gold after having been chastised by the fires of affliction. Pride, which had taken flight long ago, is replaced by humility. Their only desire is to serve for my approval. They are least bothered by the status rank that men give to them. All they bother about is to see that they walk in step with my spirit, trying to steward moments at my command. They are like the three mighty men of David, secret weapons emerging to war at their leader's side, somebody wrote. This company wears no title badges given them by men. They have sat at tables of kings and conversed intimately with me as one does their closest companion. I have felt their hot tears upon my feet as they poured out their devotion. I walked with them through insufferable losses, never stepping away. Deep run the covenant bonds, I was both their comforter and their refiner. From there, God knew the dual work I was going to do in them was never for naught. They wear necklaces of the highest honor, scars that revealed to God that indeed, they know the power of my cross and the fellowship of my sufferings. Now here are trained and tested warrior healers, modeling an advancement of my kingdom that intelligence alone can no longer grasp. Heart purity needs to be above expertise if this is going to be the cad breaker for these next turns of the tide. True greatness defined through service, love, and humility. This ascended breed no longer jockeys for platforms or position. They have died once and for all from pursuing lesser things. Their only commission now is this. They are to walk in radical obedience to my voice, extending my nature, ways, and power wherever I send, to whomever I send. My friends have awakened to this high call and are all in. These are my end-time revealers. As John stepped back that I might increase, so, too, do these chosen ones, the spirit of Elijah upon them confront Jezebel's brazenness and expose the spirit of the Python's false sorceries clouding many. As I shake structures now built upon sand, anxiously my Davids await my command to step into vacancies created. They did not vie for these positions, they shunned the limelight preferring to actually just serve faithfully in obscurity what small thing was in their hand. But the time has come. Now I bid them arise and take their place amongst influencers and kings. Their influence will far surpass expectation for each carries revelation that unlocks the breakthrough, the long-stalled solutions, the strategies reserved exclusively for this hour. Now run free within them. Coming Earthquake Shifts your looming seismic shifts are directly connected to every assignment you give out. I want to caution you in this great hour of promotion. Handle promotions and affirmations with severe sobriety. 
When you see people put the spotlight on you, fight distraction. Stay constantly on guard against pride and arrogance. These giants are arising to draw your ship off course. The greater authority and access you be given, the greater the temptation towards self-reliance. Do not presume when you go out of the clear boundaries I have set. Always depend on my wisdom and wait for my confirmation before advancing. The higher you climb up this new mountain, the steeper the grade becomes. Beloved child, your super thanks fuels our mission to share God's wisdom and truth with the world. Click the super thanks button to join me in touching countless lives with his light. May his blessings be richly poured upon you. The climb is so much rougher, the conditions are so much more rigorous. Guard against becoming faint. Be intentional about your self-care and in particular times of spiritual nourishment. The enemy waits for a moment of opportunity to snap off any straggler who hasn't kept near the group. This clustering demands and will demand to attain this summit. Tenacity, determination, and the greatest order of consecration. Dare you? Will you be faithful unto the end? I also warn you concerning accelerated visibility and familiarity catalyzed. Do not underestimate its capacity to desensitize your heart toward me and my holy standard. Do not forget what the Spirit taught you through those many a long years hidden and silent. What I am speaking to you in whispers retains highest priority over the loudest, most visible platforms now made available. Resist equating busyness with fruitfulness or productivity. Cultivate stillness in the midst of chaos so you can really hear my voice. Only then will you truly steward the moments at my pace and at my leading so fruit will be born. I have to ask you now, in this critical hour, are you going to embrace the cost of it all? Let me in every area to clean and get you prepared fully. Are you willing to do it my way, not yours? Now, integrity before me is key to how things are moving. The days of masquerade and pretension are gone. My expectation is still perfect. Truth in the inward parts, meekness, and complete obedience. Hearken to this high calling, and there shall be no stop towards unlimited influence. Are you willing, child? Make your choice now and in all urgency consecrate yourself to seek my face. My grace enables as you yield totally to my dealings. Do it now, for the midnight hour is closing in. Many of you have stood fast in prayer, patiently waiting for the manifestation of my promises in your life. That moment, long awaited, has come. Prepare yourself for that satisfying click of puzzle pieces falling into place as elements of my grand design which have seemed so wide apart suddenly fall into place. This alignment is at hand now, not waiting for any certain marker to be hit. Ready yourselves for the profound display of my power and faithfulness that is about to be displayed. Stand strong. A big top in this journey is coming soon. I am orchestrating a close to this season at the same time as I'm ushering you into the next. The closing of one chapter precipitates the unfurling of the next. As one door closes, another is ready to open wide. The narrowing of the past sets the stage for the broadening of the future. I am the Alpha and Omega, actively restricting to explosively expand in due time and order. You walked into this year realizing that it would be a year where God is desiring to do a new thing. Ending is necessary for the new to begin. As I close out various seasons, you will walk into back-to-back -back victories. For some, it will look like I have waited until the last minute, the eleventh hour. But it will all be perfect timing. You are going to be catapulted into these realms of blessing that will take your breath away. The demonstration of my power and my extravagance is not yet seen. Many of you have struggled in very intense spiritual battles. The deluge of assignments sent to destroy my plans over your lives have left you battle-weary and wounded. The time of reprieve has come. I abruptly am stopping the war against you. I am playing at the hostilities that have attacked your heart and mind to stop. No longer will fear, anxiety, um, and torment plunder your emotions. Surging peace and rest are here as you step into this next dimension of restoration. Hidden enemies will suddenly come out of the woodwork to stand as your vocal advocates and supporters. Their former enmity has mysteriously vanished. Those that opposed you will now release all their opposition to advance my kingdom purposes through you. It is by my power, little one. 
As the momentum continues to shift upwards through the end of the year, you will experience a noticeable shift. There will be birth pains that increase and show that the promise that has been very long in coming is about to manifest. Now labor says that the time of childbirth has finally come. The vision is coming into full terms. The things that are to be will be far beyond the bounds of what your mind at this particular time can understand or even hold. Nothing about it fits into your present schedule or plans. The breadth of it reaches far beyond anything you have imagined for your life. And yet in every piece, my fingerprints are there. My heartbeat is fully in the vision, even the parts of it that my breath animated. As I reveal each of them to you, know that you would have to press into this vision with radical reliance on me. It would take uncommon faith to press into something so fully an expression of your need to rely on me, for it is entirely beyond manifest human capability. But the bigger the dream, the greater the faith. So anything that can be squeezed out of this earth by human will was doomed eternally to resound empty throughout the ages. How can it make the potter look good if the vessels prepare themselves till nothing of him is left for the people to behold before he is glorified? No. My most powerful demonstrations of sovereignty demand vessels full enough to float supernatural designs. For when I reveal these plans, poor you will know without a shadow of a doubt they could not have originated anywhere except from the heart of me. By this I mean, their magnitude will both overwhelm and electrify you. Before the year wins to a close, Yes, boldly expand your capacity to contain more of me at this June mentally pivotal transition point. Ah, uh, determined to steward bigger visions, those that require faith that eclipses your current grasp. As you reach out and take hold of the new territories I'm trusting you with, the principles that would govern this new season would be totally different from the last one. The former mindsets and abilities and methods would be inadequate as I lead you into new territories. You must, therefore, Take the dynamics that apply in those dimensions. In this pioneering work, you will be called to a greater level of wisdom, discretion, and sensitivity to my leadership. You will wholly depend on my leadership to lead you through this unfamiliar land. Failure to discern and submit to my cadence could invite unnecessary casualties. When Mary first received a visitation that would explain the massive destiny waiting for her life, the revelation was so overpowering so overwhelming and glad tidings, that she recoiled and isolated herself for a little while with her thoughts. During this sacred incubation process, she stewarded the seeds of promise deep within her heart. The coming fulfillment goes beyond the capacity of others around you to comprehend. Too early an exposure would be an invitation to cynical judgments and only serve to bring disrepute and discredit to my purposes. Protection requires a sheltered environment, there, my design can safely grow beyond the scrutiny of all except those whom have eyes to see and ears to hear, safe from deaf and blind naysayers. There will be such junctures along your path as well that require wise discretion rather than the revelation of all to be said. There is this balance between vision that is certainly unconventional and mindsets that demand everything as exactly as it should be in conformity to the present order. My plans so often set out to destroy and uproot human comfort zones, refuting micro-angles by demonstrations of my power. The way ahead through kingdom-wide sweep campaigns necessarily involves spiritual warfare on the target to sabotage and destroy my work. But with wisdom and discretion, one may find the way around needless battles, thereby conserving spiritual and emotional vitality for the long haul. Do not carelessly and prematurely broadcast strategic information that invites assignments of interference meant to sabotage the work. Keep the progression shielded by the method of screening communication during this season of intimacy. The measure of the internal commission should never be determined by external validation. Venturing into spiritual terrains that are uncharted constitutes a subtle art. There is this hustle of a silent progression, unseen by the watchful foes that maintain a vigilant scrutiny. It is the walking through beneath their gaze, hidden within the safe shelter of my presence. Within this hidden realm, talk with me, waiting for my cue to stand and take the ground prepared for my glory. In those spaces, embrace the times of becoming in deep community with me, my manifested presence, drawing sustenance for the next stage of the journey. You are chosen to penetrate quietly, overtake, and establish my sovereign rule in lands yet untouched. 
The struggle is intense because your advance threatens the domains he wrongfully claimed. However, be very discreet as you approach upon my command, and you shall go by the enemy watch unseen. Stay hidden in my embrace until I choose to reveal and empower you at the destined moment. For in truth, you have been anointed an instrument of my will in secret, executing precise attacks that throw off the plans of the enemy. For, when Joseph opened his divine visions prematurely, way before time to enter his destined place, the inexperience of youth made him susceptible to harsh betrayals, including those of his very own kin. Yet what was meant for his ruin ultimately propelled him towards his preordained place of impact in the grand narrative I orchestrate. Then with the human errors that created deviations, I orchestrate them all, threading them into the support of my benign purposes. But prudence advises one to take on spiritual tact so that strength is kept, which leads to situations of unnecessary conflict avoided. Protect the relationship with me as with the most holy treasure and let no one into the intimate chamber except a chosen few. Such an inner circle should be made up only of tried and trusted friends, tested in loyalty, sound in judgment, and mature in their own spiritual growth. Friends who have the grace to nurture without the desire to misuse the very yeast which I am currently allowing to ferment within you. Beware of people who will only upset and dilute the blossoming vision. Turn all your energies to the main work, do not waste them defending yourself against the wolves, who are, to some extent at least, only ill-natured because of their own suspicions of what is fresh and unfamiliar. Beloved child, if this message has reached deep within you, press that like button as a sign of your trust in my love. Let it be a small act of faith. Their spirits are tied to fears and limitations of old spiritual structures. Rather, Pour out through it into this new adventure that I am taking upon souls who will wholly surrender their lives to my transforming power. There is coming a deluge of blessing that you have not known in your lifetime. Keep yourself in a position to receive this overflowing flood from heaven's storehouses. Having been to hell for the sake of integrity, take the noble fight of faith a little farther. Something as angry as this battle is, it signals tactical victory within reach. Your promised land is right on the other side of this rigorous training. Refuse to settle for anything less than my best, for indeed the hour of payback is at hand. And only within recent times, when I moved through you with prophetic words, I declared that the long-awaited latter rain has come. In the language of the divine, rain carries layers of meaning. The early rain symbolizes my springtime blessings. They soften the hard, unyielding ground making way for the seeds of destiny to take root firmly. In contrast, the latter rain involves the heavy autumn and winter showers that predominantly make it possible for a bountiful, ripe field to produce a huge harvest. These two divine interventions are now confluently converging in this unparalleled season to turn barren lands into lush, fertile territories that are producing copious harvests all within the same season. The swift growth era has finally come, the earth is restored, now sterile lands hungry for the touch of life were flooded with the refreshing of my spirit as I broke great sterility, flooding my limitless love. The seeds burst forth in a rapid burgeoning that hastened the time of maturation almost past your understanding. Behold the way I am shortening the span between stages in this great time of convergence. These cycles merge and overlap before the eyes of men in order that I might show to all peoples my faithfulness through you. An overflow in so many blessings is heading your way. It is time to reap back-to-back -back breakthroughs because former and latter rains have mixed into a mighty crescendo, one that will close off the year with much momentum. To such a degree it will actually spill into the coming year. This blessing will be abundant, enough to be even excessive so that there will be enough extra to extend beyond the immediate period. The realization of long-anticipated promises is going to astound you with their magnitude and reach. Many will be strategic acquisitions shortly, where you'll be able to occupy the promised territories your preceding generations have had to fight for. Charge forward, occupying to conquer and establish my kingdom purposes in these lands I am deeding unto you. Establish governance founded upon my word and wisdom that this inheritance shall benefit generations to come. The abundant blessing that is coming at you rapidly will take you into a new era, through the divine catapults that push sacred ventures prompted by your spirit in the last season.
In this new season, you attain a sudden epic outburst of resources that empowers you to begin something with vigor and intention. Seize this momentum keenly to go after the tasks, the constructions, and the acquisitions that I have prepared for you in this new epic. Those interested surely question the sudden about-faces that account for your new victories. Discernment, however, cautions moderation in your self-disclosure. Choosing not to expose unreservedly what Vision knows is avoidably misconstrued by many still unfamiliar with it. For Vision needs time to grow up, protected time, at that, so that its tempers and reflexes complete their formation under the least encumbrance of the scrutiny and misunderstanding cast by those optionally unconnected to the current context that distinguishes vision. Misinterpretations can very easily disrupt movements born on the periphery of current divine insights and manifestations. Until, that is, these new articulations mature into robust, replicable patterns of expression, it behooves us to articulate carefully so that what I speak might go through you. My kingdom moves in phases, boots on the ground moments that then, over time, graduate into the capacity for broader impact. Grace and anointing always come for a measured yield in that season. To reveal them too soon is to court the skeptics and detractors to attack these tender spiritual beginnings that are not yet the formidable forces that can answer by open displays of my power. So. Walk the bridge between the old and the new in this special hour that comes as an epoch of delineation. Acts of consecration which separate, yeah, and sanctify you unto me. Cut off all soul ties with people who are satisfied just sitting in old wineskins that have lost their vitality and freshness of vision. I am doing a new thing without the old. In fact, many may even feel rejected by your forceful breaking with the past that used to keep you all bound together. Honor and bless them, then decisively part ways, refusing to settle for anything less than every promise I destined for you before the foundation of the world. This journey is a way of radically following me at the forks in the road, more than occasionally put before options that compromise your security or soul dependence on me. But do not wince back at the knife, knowing it is that which dies of yourself that sets you up to know the same degrees of resurrection life. Always death comes before resurrection, but neither side of the cross is open to negotiation. No true follower is able to cut corners on this twin path of descending and rising, which, combined, allow you to live at one and the same moment in the time-bound world of time and in the unhugged world of eternity. Even now, this very moment, the seeds of heaven will be sown by your audacious decision to act. Step over the precipice with supernaturally lethally laid down faith, in the one who makes a habit of raising dead things up to live again. I ordained and destined you for such a time as this. Destiny awaits those who will dare to believe. My child, I have seen the desires of thy heart for blessing and prosperity. I know the dreams and visions that I have placed inside of you, and therefore the time is nigh. The time for the pouring out has come. Long have my people struggled and strived in their very own strength, they have sought by carnal wisdom and earthly means those things that I could only give. No longer. The heavens are open. The floodgates are unlocked. Get ready for blessing that will flow in torrents, and full provision to overflow. But before I can release my goodness, there are things that you must do in preparation. There are prerequisites for moving into this new level of favor and increase. First, I must have my rightful place on the throne of your heart. I cannot bless what exalts itself above me. Anything that ascends higher than the knowledge of my greatness becomes an idol in your life. Not even the good, noble things, ministry, business, um, family, am I allowed to use in my work of flesh killing, even preservation, my people, you have made too much of yourselves, too little of me. I want you to live in such a way that you can say, my life was not about my name, but about magnifying your glory. He humbles the proud, and he resists the self-exalted, like you and me. Teach you to keep the Sabbath holy with a holy weekly rhythm of work and rest. Six days you shall labor, but the seventh day is holy, consecrated to commune with me. My people run themselves ragged in ceaseless activity and anxiety. The noise and chaos drown out my gentle whisper. Be still and know that I am God the day to stop trying, 
to let me carry your cares, to regulate your speed, to move at the more natural rhythm of heaven. As you observe the Sabbath, the shock waves of my glory will shove back the darkness and confusion that is attempting to overtake you. Divine peace and order shall reign in every facet of your life. Finally, walk in wholehearted obedience to my commands, not legalistically or begrudgingly, but out of love, faith, and honor for who I am. Let my instructions bring you into awesome fullness. As it is written, if you carefully observe all my commands, I will give you rain at the proper time so your harvest will flourish. Yes, an abundant rain is coming. I will pour out refreshing waters, renewal, and prosperity over your life, family, business, and ministry. Not just one rain, but a convergence of all the prophetic rains found in my word. What are these rains that will soon overwhelm your life with their refreshing waters? First, it is the rain of beginnings, signifying transition and the beginning of new journeys. These divine showers will take you from arid regimes and wildernesses onto mountaintops, where tremendous openings, doors, and connections ruled by heaven shall bring you to the land of your promise. The beginning of purification is the rain of cleansing, and it purges and prepares. Be ready for the mighty downpour from heavenly realms that sweeps away all former sorrows, failures, wrongs, and impurities to make you anew again. In any case, wherever there has proven to be much resistance, I am coming to release a sweeping change in this rain and thereby subdue your adversaries. Behold the transformation I am about to release in the realm of this rain. Third is the rain of promise, unfulfilled until just before bloom and harvest. Endure long-standing trials, sow the seed of integrity, bravery, and excellence. And very soon, heaven's tears will give showers in abundance to signify a season of breakthrough and restitution for all the wasted years. Thus, this foretaste of rain gives assurance of your harvest not far from now. Fourth is the rain of guidance, with which direction and divine insights unfold for building, progress, and conquering. You have the visions and the projects, but lack the resources and the know-how on how to bring them to reality. This is all about to change. Deluge is rich in divine instructions, practical wisdom, and prophetic strategies that will equip you fully for the completion of that which I have set before you. In this reign, revelations unveiling your purpose will abound. Finally comes the reign of abundance, a sudden, intense outpouring of blessings. The gates of heaven shall swing wide as I fill an overflowing measure of my own generosity. After times of lack and unbelief, prepare for the overwhelming array of blessings, wealth, healings, salvations, and miracles. The velocity of those blessings will be to that. It makes you gasp in wonder at my might and favor. Indeed, the coming together of all these reigns of heaven is at history's hand. But there are two keys to properly positioning for this blessing typhoon. My dear child, pass on this light I've placed in you. Share it with someone who needs my presence and encouragement. First, as I said, dethrone all idols and yield to my lordship with unequivocal devotion. Secondly, step out with spiritual discretion by holding this prophetic insight very close to your heart and sharing it only with very few confidants and intercessors. What you broadcast is open to satanic assault and interferences. The enemy prowls, seeking fertile visions to ravage. Preserve my soon-to-be-made promises until it is time for them to be revealed. As is written, discretion will keep your life and understanding will guard you, as wisdom ushers you safely through, to break through. So prepare in stillness as the first distant rumbles of blessing are heard. The clouds are filling, darkening, and poised to burst. Lift your head, my child, redemption draws near. The time of lack and wilderness wandering closes as a rising glory caps your witness. Shouts of joy resound in heaven's halls in chorus with my angelic host in praise of my faithfulness. All creation groans in eager longing for this fated hour where my manifested goodness forever settles all accounts. Why, stand at the ready, my faithful one, for heaven is mobilizing its forces to celebrate your lifelong act of placing trust in me. Yes, I am your justifier, your rewarder, your blesser, your friend. Your testimony will rise with symphonies of grace, of favor, 
of destiny that will begin to unlock through your mutual silence to the naysayers and the song of silence of my miracle-working power in surrendered lives. Yes, hear heaven's bells begin chime. Oh yes, very nigh is thy hour. Unspeakable blessing is poised as a violent, impregnable storm. Lift up your eyes, stretch out wide your hands. The God who spans the universe with a span and inhabits eternity has chosen you as that vessel to reveal his glory to your generation. Welcome are, then, the first drops of the coming deluge. The latter rains have come. Rejoice and sing. Victory, increase, and more than enough are here. Within the quiet of your heart, hear my voice resound with yours through territories unknown. The path I set before you is not of ease and comfort, but of growth to fullness of life. Your journey is peculiar in the fires of the trials and soothing balm of my presence. Let this season be a time of change and be anchored in my word. It will be your compass in times of uncertainty, your light in times of darkness. Remember, I am not some distant deity who merely observes and watches from afar. I am intimately involved in every aspect of your life. In those times of loneliness, seek my face, and in the din of life's demands, listen for my guidance. You are going to be tried by the things that test your faith in this new chapter and stretch your belief. Be not afraid, for I am with you. When doubts arise and the heart grows weary, remember the testimonies of old. Just like I was with Moses at the Red Sea and Daniel in the lion's den, so am I with you. Your faithfulness in small things will lead to bigger stewardship. Trust in me that I will make your path straight. My child, a dearly loved R, I am your God, a, your companion, always near, guide, and protector. If you have not yet heard my name, then let this be our introduction. Before even your first breath, I chose you, kindling within your soul a flame of purpose that has never wavered in conviction. I am an architect of your hours, showering your way with the downpour of love and mercy as boundless as the ocean's depth. I am love, that soft whisper of peace in the chaos, that guiding light to shepherd your way through shadows. Embrace this day as you would a canvas for miracles, painted with the strokes of faith, accompanying you every step of the way. It is my spirit that trails behind you, lighting the steps beneath fatigue-laden feet. Open wide your heart to these truths, carve them into the fabric of your being so they may emerge in the very moments you seek my face. The gates to my grace are forever open to you, come with absolute boldness and not a shred of fear. And I'm here to heal the fractures in your spirit, to restore the scars unseen but felt unto the quick. The darkness that once frolicked menacingly in your mind, those secrets that turned around ensnaring your joy, lose their hold today. I offer you a new beginning, staining away the stains of yesterday, setting you free from the chains of regret. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let your peace be stolen away. If you find yourself unable to undo the knots of your past, do what is within your reach, seek humility, ask for forgiveness, strive to make amend and purify your essence. And for those who, out of bitterness, refuse to give you the grace of redemption, leave them to me. You stand before me renewed, your spirit cleansed and absolved in this divine embrace. Know each step, each stumble to be part of your journey towards the light. Your past does not define you, neither do your mistakes say anything about your worth. With the rising of each new dawn, so I provide endless opportunities for renewal and growth. Therefore, go forth, of my child, with a heart unburdened by the shadows of the yesterdays, walking into the light of my constant love and forgiveness. Let the past be left behind. Give me all that weighs you down, shadows of your mirth, and gloomy negative thoughts eating into your mind day in and day out. Let go of the memories and thoughts you've held onto for so long, and let my power work within your heart. Never again will I let fear chain you. Never again will I let anxiety cast shadows. I will plant the seeds of my holy word in you. I flood your soul with my grace, giving you the miracle of true freedom, wrapping you gently with my embrace of mercy. I protect you with my love, filling your life with uncounted blessings. Today the cords that bound your spirit are destroyed, your attitude changes, 
your frustration diminishes, and your rage stops. Never again will your words be those of frustration, condemnation, and lies, for I make your tongue to be a wellspring of blessing, saturated with power to deliver and restore. You shall never walk alone, I was with you all the way, reminding that no matter what happens, you must take your steps in faith. Even if you have to face the barriers and delays, you are going ahead, because I am with you. I assuredly make good on my promises and will direct you to the place of your promised deliverance. Believe today with all assurance that miracles are on the horizon for those that believe and relinquish to my will. No challenge, difficulty, or axing, to say the very least, of moments of defeat or triumph passed by will serve as a testimony to the greatness of my love. You are safe in my hands, a legion of angels serves at your home, keeping watch day and night. My spirit ensures no foe can tear you limb from limb or stir strife. Your family is dear to me, my love toward you is limitless. You will dwell in my hand forever. I'm here to offer you reassurance and inspiration, for sustenance in words divine. I give you the food of eternal life in me, you will never hunger for love or seek self-assurance in the eyes of others. I shall give you drink from living water, joy and solace shall be forever yours, never to beg for. Do not place with those who can fail you the whole heart. My spirit blesses your desires to live and fills in the passion to pursue once more your dreams. Keep faith and trust. Turn back now into this petty shelter of mine, into these precincts of my presence. Feast on my teachings and enwrap yourself with my love and optimism. For when you lean into my strength, follow my teachings, and align with my desires for you, there is no end to your accomplishments. You live each day in gratitude. Your thankfulness fills you with joy for you are aware of the miracles already taking shape in your life. You enter each day with a heart full of thankfulness, declaring with faith and earnestness, Today is a day for miracles. My God is kind. He will gather you inside His mighty arms. You are safe. Your faith shall be your reality. Commit to me your fears, your pains, your feelings, and your sicknesses. I am your God, your healer. Miracles have not departed from this age. Behold my love changing your life and your family, breaking chains and bringing tremendous deliverance. I will come to your home, and I will astonish you with the wonders I will perform. Prepare your heart, dispose of fear, resentment, doubt, and all those negative feelings that kill your peace. Bring me all the things that afflict you, that cause you despair, I am going to dispel them. I will teach you how to leave the condition of sadness and spiritual desolation. Believe in my word, you are mine. I hold you dear. I wish not for your suffering to persist. You have called out to me, and my answer is here. Cast aside skepticism and open your heart to the profound love that brings comfort. I'm here to heal you. Let me reassure you once again. I'll ease your pain and improve your overall health. I will restore, bless you, your body and mind, the family, even finance with good health and healing touch. I will turn things around in your life so that you live, having peace and happiness, everything whole and sound for yourself and your close ones. You deserve a better life in the future. I won't let your doubts step on my plans for you. You've gotten to a place where going alone is no longer enough. I will bear you up, lifting you toward joy, do you? I'll put a crown of dignity on your head with my very hands. Beloved child, if this message has reached deep within you, press that like button as a sign of your trust in my love. Let it be a small act of faith. Though some may have looked down on you, jealous of your strength, those who have hurt you will see their mistake. They'll come back asking for your forgiveness, needing your help. They'll recognize that I am with you. Those who've wronged you will seek to make amends. When you hear these words, kneel and pray, whether out loud or in your heart. Wash down all the blessings that I have provided. I know that you do, and I love hearing your voice. I'm about to open another door for you, a door that leads to great prosperity for you and your family. I want you to even prosper in how well you feel, I'm sure, free from debts, never lacking food on your table, and handling your responsibilities without having to borrow. This is what you had asked for, and so it was. 
The difficulties you encountered were for the purpose to create patience and not to weaken faith on the contrary. In fact, I see your heart panting for me every day. You require my love, that you search for carefully though all the prayer of your heart. Hear me, I am not speaking of any transitory favor, the sort that rushes by in a moment and that one can snatch away from you. I will bring your way open doors and real blessings. I will build patience, strength, and deep wisdom in your own heart. You will find me in the drawing deeper into fellowship with me. Search after revelations of my truth to find the real me. These blessings are on the way, but you must accept them humbly. Remember that, being a human being, you are susceptible to pride, which an enemy can work to his advantage by alluring you out of the way, laughing at your stumble, dogging your faults, and in the end pointing an accusing finger at you. Also, I wouldn't want you to fall into sin. I am putting up guards about you and your families against danger. Be therefore very vigilant and watchful in prayer because the enemy loves to find you unaware. Accept with gladness my leading. Let joy be your strength as my plan unfolds and my intentions come to fruition. The scenes are set for you to harvest richly from your labor. If you start getting hard-pressed by harsh times and your resources look like they are ebbing, just trust that this is only temporary. Ahead lies employment and ample provision. Value these opportunities. If it is work you want, then I will make a way for you. Move on without fear. Look for opportunities for yourself and your close ones, for you are dear in my sight. Accept this fact and my love for you that fills you with peace and great joy. I am a being who does not change, omnipresent. I am with you always, a close companion like no other, reliable as my word which comes from my mouth and my promise that remains for eternity. Close your eyes, take in the holy breath that I offer. If you must rush off, carry this serene peace with you and leave your worries behind with me. Even when you feel forsaken, know I stand by you from love unending. My support for you is unfaltering. You want to be close, but shy at the very moment that you are going to pour out all your sorrows that trouble your peace. Doubt came in, and so you had to carry that heavy burden of bitterness. Just find powerful words from my voice comforting you. I want to etch them deep inside your soul. Hear me well, I love you. You are free. I am with you, holding you lovingly in my embrace, cradling you in my arms. When you face one kind of test or another throughout your days on earth, remember and sense my closeness to you. I will be there speaking encouragingly to your heart, with words that remind you of my love for you and that lead you from the paths and feelings of wandering. I will light a flame in your heart. My light will blaze even stronger, yes, like that sun which lights up the whole world of yours when those shadows want to chill you and frighten you then darkness and evil just cannot stand in the glow of my presence which is eternal. Every evil force that might bring you sorrow today will be wiped out. Just let me have a chance to show you my love today. Open your ears to hear as I speak softly to you today through your day. I anoint you with heavenly oil, preparing you to receive blessings. I release your mind from the deception of tantalizing imaginations. If you have fallen, I stand ready to forgive you to wash you clean and set you on high. I don't want you to be fearful and guilty, tormented by the past. I'm not here to judge and sentence you. I am more than judgment. I am here and offer you my love. If I want to punish you, that would be not this time. Think of the love too deep I've had for you, waiting. Don't turn away, for you stand at a crossroad with two paths to choose from. One is the way of truth and eternal life to a bright future the other walks away from me. In becoming followers of mine, one does not face an easier life, but I do promise support and leadership the rest of the way. My spirit will comfort you in your grief, and my will shall light your path. At all times, you shall be welcome in my presence, day or night. But allow me to take your heart, which I shall keep and hold dear. I shall dress your heart with love, joy, abundance, and peace. I will guard you against all hostile forces as well as against Prometheus, the burglar, and wicked friends. 
Thousands of the angelic hosts shall encamp around thy tent, standing armed and ready for the battle, to protect thee against all attack or menace. My faithfulness shall be thy shield through time, constant from yesterday, today, forever. Just as sure as the days follow the nights and the stars that shine in dull dark, just so sure shall my presence ever be around thee. Trust me to face all my enemies who want to hurt you. Do not be afraid of anything and anybody. Your household is my watch, and you are never alone. It is I, in this moment in history, which has been designed for me to speak into your life and tell you that great blessings are on the way to you. You are my choice, called by my name, and you are mine. I will never leave you. Then one distant day, your heart longing for the past, you'll find yourself yearning for the days I stood by you, reached out, and pulled you from peril. I've been your peace in turmoil, your constant when all else turned away, and I never looked at you in any other way than in mercy. My love for thee is endless, growing with every season, joy and hardship, wealth and want, wellness and ailment. I stand by thee forever. You feel my nearness today, a feeling that will not go away. Let go of any thoughts of doubt. There is no power that will be able to break the connection of love, the peace, the ecstatic joy that I feel for you. You are loved, and you will lack nothing. This, I promise. I am your taker, always in remembrance of your circumstances and need. Fritter away your energy not on the circumstances at hand. Just lay them down and remember my promises, and your spirit and heart will be bathed and flooded with peace and calm. About you, the world is full of opportunities waiting to be picked up by you. Do not approach anything with unnecessary fear, for I have guided you in your approach. Unnecessary fear, I will inspire your words and guide your steps. Take the step and journey on absolutely certain. Fear is not happy to see any of our lives remain static. When you take a step, heaven will open and pour out for you a true blessing that is abundant. You will be located in a place of abundance, without debt and worry. What you will purchase will be over and above what you thought, becoming a person who is positioned to share, bless, and give away exceedingly. From here on in, you shall continue to give and receive throughout all the days, all the months, all the years. So fill yourself with these words. Let their meaning become clear. Obey my command, feed from my word, and lay down your life with determination. Awaken now, to let your faith really catch fire and make alive the plans that have been kept for you. Shake off the remains of past failures and regrets. Make that decision to still press on, although the whispers and challenges are unfurling all around you. Forgive, let go, march ahead, my teachings will shield you. Your faith shall be your sword. I'm here to take you through any obstacles. Choose to struggle. I give you the strength to overcome. I'm your leader, your provider. Precious child, I invite you to draw closer to me, to experience the fullness of my love. Join this community by clicking join and receive my teachings and the warmth of fellowship. Together, we will grow in faith, love and, and grace. I know your needs, and I will satisfy them and more. Proclaiming, with confidence in voice and heart, your determination to survive, to thrive, and to trust. Do not lose hope, for disturbing news might come, but mine are plans planned. Mine is the last voice. I still can storm the winds, part the seas, make you walk upon chaos, raise you from sickness, restore your health, and mend your spirit. I gather your tears as earth brings you pain and betrayal. You turn around in your faith and love for me. My embrace tells you once again that I shall fill your being with love and peace amidst despair. Be sure of my approach. Time heals everything, a process in which I triumph, leaving no tracks. Every new trouble has made you wiser. I will also obliterate the sting of painful memories. This is what brought my hands under the nails on the cross, to take upon myself your anguish to wash away your sins by my blood, to give to you my grace to lift every burden and every sorrow from your heart. Throughout all seasons, in wellness and in sickness, 
my presence shall ever abide with you. My commitment to you is absolute. The most incredible miracle is about to manifest in your life. Incredible things will happen in your life as you receive my word humbly and with an open heart, against any adversity and blessings. I am about to turn all sorts of thorny wreckage into avenues of blessing for you, and to tread you through the proving grounds of life that will make you come out refined. Troubles will strengthen you to experiences that ripen into wisdom, all part of my divine plan for your maturing. Trust me, I'll be with you, protecting you. And I'm planning for every good thing that comes into your life to multiply. So live fully in faith, free from the shadow of past regrets and fears. Believe in my ability to forgive, and if you want my complete blessings, then forget those who slander or criticize you. Do not let envy's voices becloud your shining future. Instead, experience my reassuring presence. Allow joy, peace, hope, faith, and courage to be brought into your heart. I promise to fill your life with joy and songs of praise. You will see a change in attitude so that abundance will come directly to you and set you free from financial bondage and the errors of your past. Even when things look really bad, still trust in my promises. Only be open to new things and be good to all, for I have purpose to bless you beyond anything you can ever think or imagine. And your experiences will be marvelous. Yet even in the face of adversity, you will glow in the darkness like a shining light, reflecting my power. Here is something to tell you, and it is truth. Very few of you act upon it. Some would rather continue heeding the words of their oppressors than my blessings. Remember, though, that my love runs deep for you. It is about trusting in me, for in doubt, you miss the opportunities to be blessed. Your faith is specific and real. Receive the blessing, you are protected and safe in my hands. Behold, they shall gather and at their front find themselves face to face with me. As many as the problems are, into your fight I shall add victory so that the enemies shall be tramped upon and put to shame by your hands. Yes, as you make them your adversaries, realize I am your defense. Soon you'll look around and find your enemies gone. So many oppose you with no success, not knowing that your greater guardian stands by your side, your God, your Redeemer. Believe and act with that belief, for with me all things are possible. Step forth in confident faith. Your faith was made strong, so you may become victorious over all means. Do not drift by doubts and fears, but take up courage and on, for I shall bless in every way. Time to claim the victories ahead. I am here to guide and answer in all situations. Anointed by my Spirit, you're called to heal and uplift your family too. They shall be blessed, enjoying peace and union. A transformation is near. Peace will fill your home and all negativity shall disappear forevermore. Search for me and you will find peace for your soul in my presence, in the promises I have made, and the words that I have spoken. Trust in me, I am your God and your Savior, your healer, your strength, your deliverer. It feels like you could hold on to my hand and not fall. Your protector, thus am I, your Lord is your healer. Cry out to your God with the voice of your heart then grasp the confession with all of your soul. My love for you started in the past and goes right now to the future. You should really pray hard for your family. It is very important. Your prayers are very potent. You have seen how I answer all that you ask of me so many times. But behind that mask, you know your family really goes through deep struggles. I really want you to be on your knees in my presence, interceding and pleading for them. I anoint your family with divine protection, where trials are allowed, but sickness and accidents are not. I will bless them with wisdom, opening doors that seem to never budge, and unveiling opportunities that had been out of sight. I will give you strength, peace, and the grace to speak words of love, not words of destruction. Seek to understand their trials and tribulations. When you are with them, give them gentle hugs, Stroke their heads, and let your prayers be passed on through touch. My power will clear away their darkness. I will break the chains that hold them captive and heal their hearts. Share my teachings with them, remind them of my promises. 
Let my name be mentioned in your household with reverence. See how problems will fade and my presence permeates your home. Then the day will come that you will be off on your merry way to gladly witness the turnaround in their lives, now spotting changes in their character and the guidance toward their divine destinies. Don't turn away from me. Don't back down in the face of the negativism that beats against you. I have a mighty plan, and it shall surely unfold, unstoppable by any force. Yet there must be one in your home who believes in me with passion and conviction, who prays powerfully with steadfast faith. That one is you. Your prayers for your loved ones will break through the barriers. Victory will be seen. My love is upon you and them. Be comforted by my keeping. I have your now and your future and the blessings in your life in my hands. Stand in my selection of you. Cling to my word, and those who reject it shall be astonished at what I will do in your life. I will lift your head, dry your tears, and give you peace. I am the joy coming into your life every day. Bathe in what I promise to you. Open your Bible, sit in silence, and read. Quench your spiritual hunger and grow strong in the massive strength I pour into you. If you've been looking up for signs, now I say look ahead for I'm already answering your prayer. That which you asked, I grant according to my will, filling your life with true abundance and liberty. The bounty I come bringing shall bring you no sorrow, you shall borrow no debt, none shall take it away from you. Therefore, when you see the blessings within thy home, think not lightly of thyself. Never doubt you are worth my gifts. Whatever I hand over to you is handed with love, for I have called you blessed. But you must know this, the enemy will try to plant doubt in your heart and rob you of your blessings and your dreams. I give you wisdom to discern what's real and what is not, truth from lie. Be careful of the smooth talkers who claim sweetness in deceptive mouths to trap you into their wiles and destroy your true self. Be on the watch. Listen to my warning against the pitfalls set for you by your enemies. I'll protect you. Be your guardian. Pray at all times that you may make me a dwelling place in your heart, to be strengthened by me. Stand firm in your faith, my words, and trust in me. I will shield your house and your loved ones with protection from above. Do not even think to give up. My love for you is so very clear. Your life is now in my hands. I am here to guide you through hard times, to pick you up when you fall, to keep your focus set on the journey ahead, and to help you stay in faith, to walk into success and abundance. Relate to me as you would to your heavenly parent, and feel free. Know that I, too, desire to be seen as a close confidant. I reach out to you now, assuring you of my undivided presence and attention. Speak to me openly, tell me your dreams, your aspirations, what's on your mind, and your feelings. Talking with me soothes your spirit, letting your mind be at peace. Saying what you feel and believe activates your faith and makes way for miracles to take place. Today is such a time when we shall have open dialogue with each other, the day in which you will openly express your inmost desires and hear with your ears as I speak. I am not here to judge or condemn you, neither to remind you of your evil deeds of the past, Listen now to the soft murmurings of my spirit. Be assured of my love that arises with each rising sun to see you awaken, hoping that you render your thoughts towards me, voicing your need and your love. These are your worship and beautiful praise that reaches my throne. With every rising of the sun, my presence loves and protects you, your family, and your home. Be assured, in every difficulty, I am here to help. I'll not count back one good thing you require of me. I stand ready to join with your requests that mean blessings, and I'll cover them in my love. Trust me for your thoughts, your heart, and the burdens that weigh on your faith and dreams. My precious child, do not keep this blessing to yourself. Share it with a soul who needs to feel my peace today. You need not be overwhelmed any longer by the storms of doubt. Do not allow despair to drag you down into the paths of sorrow. Whose voice will you listen to? The cries of hopelessness, deceits of failure, or my gentle voice speaking to you? There is no reason to despair when my actions have proved time and again that belief in my word opened heaven's gates for you. You are my child, ordained not for darkness but for light. My spirit is your constant companion 
the one to cheer you up in every place, under any circumstance. This message isn't a coincidence. I know how life's battles have marked you, how foes have hurt you, and the persistent trials you are going through. Yet, here I stand to raise you out of misery, to protect you with my wing, and shelter you under my covering. Be patient, read my words carefully, and look to me in trust. Your present trials are not a sign of my displeasure or punishment. My love for you is deep and everlasting. I came to lift you out of your despair, once and for all, and to rescue you from defeat. Start walking to your blessings already, even if weariness seems to cling to you, and even if your heart bears scars of pain. Step forward in faith, believing anew that the miraculous power of healing can once more be upon you. Your faith in me with every stepping stone of faith will locate you wholeness. Right now, stand up, for a major shift in life is underway. A different tomorrow. And why? Because unending is my love towards you. I am with you. That's all you've got to fathom for today. Though despair and loss may seem to overshadow your now, as you read, my words will leave you with a heart full of peace, joy, courage, and restored faith. Do this for me. All day long meditate on my tender love, but forget those memories which have troubled you thus. Wait and watch for the new morning of restoration and renewal. Those very blessings you feel are lost will come back to you again. I shall open for you doors which forever seem to have been locked. From heaven itself, I shall shower upon you gifts that promise prosperity and comfort for your souls. Walk henceforth with confidence that I, your powerful God and most loving Father, am at your side forever. Reignite once more that fire in your heart to lead a life with purpose. May there be a burning desire in your heart to obey your King, and may you not be ashamed of your faith in me and in my promises, but rejoicing in the miracles that I am about to do in and through you and in and through your family. All who have the faith in me, listen, for they will see the work of their faith and obedience. Many extraordinary miracles. You will see transformations of your loved ones which will warm your heart and make you full of joy. So even in trial, trust that I will never leave you. I am ever present with you in all circumstances. I am here supporting you. Come with boldness and faith, yet be prepared to listen to my words that are eager to strike your very heart and to fill you with my spirit. No one will ever rob you of this newly found strength. Give me the word that you will look for me in your love and your faithfulness every single day, and I will always be here to welcome you. Be convinced of my love for you. This will be your protection. Today, again, I have come closer to reach your heart and touch it in this hour of necessity. My love for you is unconditional, genuine, and eternal. Your mistakes and failures cannot take you away from a love that deep inside I have for you. And when you thought you were far from me, my hand of love reached for you, saving you from fetters that killed hope and passion for life. Whenever you call, I'm right here. In sheer desperation, I receive thee with open arms. When I see you kneel down in prayer, I look at you through soft eyes, covering thee with my graciousness, while thou shalt walk through any catastrophe and bitterness, wherein my presence shall glow through the blackest dark. I have known thee before thy birth, meticulously choosing the time and date for you to come to this world. From my eyes to heaven, your entire life unfolds. Perhaps at times you may question my action, but then one day you'll see that everything that I do is just to strengthen you and make you grow. Because I envisage something more excellent for you. It's like my desire is that you be raised to a higher dimension in life, faith, and surrender. I want to entrust you now with my shining sword of truth. And as you proclaim my word, remarkable miracles will unfold in your very midst. Cast not thoughts of unworthiness in the way, for the wonders I intend for you to work are great. See yourself as you are meant to be seen, a well-beloved child of the King Almighty, emboldened, an overcoming champion full of resilience, determination, and victory. Accept this truth, for it flows from acceptance of my boundless love toward you. You are not marked with failure, but destined for triumphing overcoming. Beyond these trials, 
Navigated by your steadfast faith lies the glorious reward of victory. Let this assurance fill your heart and guide your steps in this journey. But remember, you are not wholly defined by the former mistakes or the dark shadows of uncertainty that are cast along the way. Each stride taken in faith, bound with my love, brings you that much closer to the realization of your proper place. Your battles, however insurmountable, are stepping stones to further heights with my support as your infallible base. So stand tall, warrior of faith, because your story testifies to one of overcoming, destined to shine forth in the brilliance of the promised victory unto me. Amen. Could you not hear the urgency beginning to swirl deep within your spirit? It is a holy annoyance, a divine dissatisfaction with the status quo, that my love is calling an answer from you, the eternal significance of every passing moment here, in this shadow land of yours. For I tell you, multitudes stumble blindly through this life, hurtling at an abyss from which there is no return. Destinies of unending anguish await, as real and irrevocable as the rising of tomorrow's sun. Doesn't this break your heart as it breaks mine? You, beloved you were chosen for such a time as this. Before the mountains are born, out of the dark bosom of the earth, I brand your soul, so you become a beacon a flare in the darkness. Not happenstance, not a fluke of universal forces, but the eternal intents of an inscrutable God. And even now, I want to explode all through your personality the very dynamite of heaven, to tear the chains of self-effacement that have held you down. Will you give in to the incandescent fury of my spirit, become a living flame? Too long you have dawdled in the shadows, yes, content to bask in the overflow of my goodness. But be it known to you, there are yet depths of my spirit unexplored, treasures of wisdom and revelation prepared for those who take hold of the plow and refuse to look back. Gird up the loins of your mind, sharpen your sword, and step into the arena of faith. For as you go forth in obedience, I will be the wind at your back and the fire in your bones. Expect me to embolden your lips, to grant you inventions by which to dismantle the devil's fortresses. For I promised you I will give a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Even in these days, there are divine appointments, preordained encounters arranged by the hand of providence, where destinies shall clash, where kingdoms will hang in the balance. Would you let the river of life flow through you unimpeded, so you can drink and be satisfied? I tell you the truth, a single seed sown in season can yield a harvest beyond comprehension. Never belittle the effect of a life laid down, a heart wholly given to my cause. And do not be of those who shrink back, who bury their talent in the earth and in so doing malign my character. For the things thou ought not to dread in me, but to thy loving Father in lawfully inquiring after his mind, for my capability for the task, in my faithfulness to finish what I have started. Yes, there will be setbacks, yes, there will be those who will upbraid and mock you for my name's sake. But count it all joy, for you are walking in the steps of the prophets and saints of old. Do they not face the flame, counting the reproach of Christ's more precious than all the treasures of Egypt? Remember always, your warfare is not against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities of darkness, and yet the light shines best in the night. It is against the black background of this world that all my grace and your valor stand out in brightest relief. Cease not to grow discouraged by the fierce battle, by the flying arrows of the enemy. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but God hath given us a spirit of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Greater is he that is in you, than he that is in the world. Child, in this place, you will find hope and encouragement through my words. Subscribe to stay connected to the messages that uplift your soul and bring you nearer to my love. Fixing your eyes upon the joy set before you, you will find that although the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory to follow, that glory will add an extra sweetness because you have struggled and won the victory. And in the working, in the pouring out, know this, I see you. I shall never leave you nor forsake you. I am perfected in your weaknesses. And when you think you have come to the end of your resources, mine are just beginning to be unveiled. Therefore, come, my beloved, and arise and shine, 
for your light has come. Mount up with wings as eagles, run and do not grow weary, walk and do not faint. For I do a new thing in the earth, and blessed are those who discern the time of their visitation. The fields are white unto harvest, the need is urgent, and the day is far spent. Lift up your eyes, for the King is coming. May you be found faithful in that hour. May your life be a love letter that points ever and always to me. My dear child, now you stand at the brink of a great unfolding, a holy crossing into land uncharted and unknown. Do not be afraid of its strangeness, because it is all of my design, a holy invitation to grow, to become, to rise. Each step, although unfamiliar, is ordained. Each breath, although trembling, is sustained by my unwavering hand. And in this time of newness, I call you to a higher way of being. Let love be your compass, joy your true north. Line up your heart with the fruit of my spirit, so that from your wellsprings or innermost soul, all things from kindness to patience, peace, flow out. When you pour out, I shall pour in an endless tide of grace, refreshing and renewing. There are weighty and immense blessings about to be applied to you. They hover, poised and ready, waiting only for the readiness of your receiving. Stay true to the path I set before you, though it leads through valleys deep and shadows long. Trust in the whispers of your heart, for they are my voice leading you ever onward to the full completion of my perfect plan. Unhitch now the burdens that hold back, the weights that pull down. Release everything that drains your spirit, all that blurs your light. At this hour, I need you strong, clear-minded, and whole. Draw nigh to me in the secret place, and there, in holy communion, tune your ears to the frequency of heaven. Listen for my still, small voice amidst the clamor of the world. I am unlocking in you gifts just beyond your imagination, profound, intricate, and powerful. These are the tools of your calling, the instruments which you will do great things in my name. Wield them in humility, in respect, and with an unwavering commitment to my purpose. Comparison is a thief that robs you of the joy of your own journey. Fix your eyes upon no one other than me, since I have you exactly where I want you to be. And know this, a day is coming when everyone shall see what it is that I have made you to be. This is a time of vindication, of divine justice. The wounds, the scars they count, are not forgotten to me. I will set everything right in my timing. Keep your heart pure and free of bitterness. Pray for those who have wronged you, for in doing so, you align yourself with my heart of compassion. In releasing forgiveness, I will shatter the chains that bind, the strongholds of the mind, the shackles of the past. Four days, four months, a divine shift is on the horizon. Pain, trauma, suffering, I cast them into the bottom of the sea, and they shall never be remembered again. How dare you ask, seek, knock. For I am a God who gets great pleasure out of answering bold prayers for my children. Believe with unwavering faith, then wait with hopeful expectation, knowing that I am working all things together for your good. It has been a marvel to watch your growth, which shall only have speedy takeoff in the days ahead. You bubble up toward the challenges ahead, stepping into your destiny courageously and gracefully. As I lead you deeper into truth, you will explore boundless freedom, exactly as you never before considered possible. The old patterns, the old ways of thinking, and the mind that has been darkened by the devil's lies are about to be torn asunder. They shall be replaced with a new way of thinking, a new mind, renewed and transformed by my word. There will be many dark days in the future where it seems like there is pressure from all sides. But remember, even in the shadows you are held fast in my embrace. Do not shrink back. Do not lose heart. Press on. Push through because on the other side of every trial, every test, is a deeper revelation of my faithfulness. Go out now and become a blessing to others. There is power in selfless love. As you give of yourself, your time, your resources, your heart, 
You throw wide the gates of heaven that will bring a rushing war, mighty torrent of blessing, saturating every area of your life. This is the secret to abundance, the key that opens the storehouses of my favor. Yes, uh, the world around you may be broken and the systems corrupt and flawed, yet you cannot let that be of hindrance to your purpose. See every obstacle as a giving of opportunity for development, every challenge as a chance to cultivate the fruit of wisdom and grace. Let your words be few and chosen rightly, seasoned with kindness and truth. It's in quietness and trust you shall find your strength, just like it is by faith, unyielding and immutable. Build it daily on solid rock, for the rock is my word. To testify to others of the great things I've done, for there is power in your story to ignite hope and ignite change, to set aflame the souls of my love. I am your healer, redeemer, restorer. I am making all things new, changing your ashes into beauty turning your mourning into joy. Seeds sown in tears, you will reap in shouts of triumph. The joy set before you is indescribable. The power within you is indomitable. There are many more gifts awaiting you. Grab it, walk in it, and watch as I move in ways beyond your wildest imagination. I delight in you, my child. I have entrusted you with the valuable work of my kingdom. Never doubt that you are not able because I have enabled you, given you strength, and you are called by name. You are forever mine, and I am yours. My cherished child, by now you have gone a long way. Your path has led you through both shadowed and illumined trails, trimmed with my grace. Yet here I tell you, before you lie out the greatest vistas, unveiled by the tender hand of providence. For I am God in unfolding, the author of a story to surpass expectation. And in the places yet to be turned, there are triumphs that shall leave one breathless, revelations that shatter the limitations of one's understanding. I will lead you into encounters with my presence that will redefine the very fabric of your reality. For I am not content to be a distant deity, a mere footnote in the margins of your existence. No, I am the God who draws near, who dwells even in the cells of your being. Days will teach you to recognize my voice above the din of this world, to come close to my whispering wisdom even when it does not make sense to human reasoning. For my ways are higher, my thoughts are loftier, and the end from the beginning I do see. In days when it seems the past closes in with high cliffs of circumstance, but fear not, for I am with you in the valley, I am your sure footing on the mountain steep, I will guide you with my eye, I will steady you with my hand, and even in the depths, even in the shadows. I will unveil treasures, hidden riches stored in secret places. For I am the God of the breakthrough, the one making a way where there seems to be no way. I specialize in the impossible, for I do very well in the realm of the miraculous. Watch and see how I move the immovable, how I break through the barriers that have held you back for far too long. I am loosening your shackles, I am breaking your chains, and where once there was bondage, there shall be beautiful liberty. In the coming season, I will sharpen your spiritual senses. I will attune your heart to the frequencies of my kingdom. You will start to see into the unseen realm with jolting clarity, to know when angels move and when the enemy is at work. For you are not of the world, you are a citizen of heaven now is the time to walk in the full authority of heaven's citizenship. And while you pour out, as you give yourself in sacrificial service, I will pour in. I will fill you to overflowing with the oil of my joy, the wine of my presence. There you will find satisfaction among the pleasures of this earth, satisfaction that will be hard to describe in human vocabulary. For I am the exceeding great reward, I am your all in all. There will be battles, there will be conflicts, but do not fear the roar of the enemy. For the Lion of Judah has already overcome. Look, I give you the power to tread over serpents and scorpions and upon all the might of the enemy, and nothing at all shall hurt you. For you do not wrestle for victory, you are wrestling from victory. The outcome is already settled at Calvary's cross. Therefore, stand your ground, stand your watch, stand your family, 
stand your financial circumstances, and much more. Stand in the unmovable assurances of my word. Let faith arise, and praise rise all around. See, I am doing a new thing, now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making streams in the desert and rivers in the wasteland. Dry bones are coming alive and ancient ruins are being rebuilt. And keep your eyes purely onto me. Keep your heart solely onto my spirit. For I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. I am the God of your yesterday, your today, and your forever. If only you knew, beloved, how I am working all things, turning all these triumphs and trials, joys and pains, into a beautifully redemptive masterpiece. You will bear fruit and remain. It's as you abide in me, as you make your home in the secret place of my presence. You will walk in an anointing that breaks every yoke. Come boldly, come confidently into the throne room of grace. Bring your requests and the deepest cries of your heart, for I am a good Father who gives every good and perfect gift. I take pleasure in blessing my children, to delight in lavishing them with my favor. I call you deeper, I call you higher. Will you surrender to the wooing of my spirit? Can I take you there? Do you mind if I show things you ain't never seen? For eye hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither hath entered into the heart of man, the things which I have prepared for those who love me. But I reveal them to you by my spirit, for the spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. Come with me, O beloved, and be gone. Tis time that I, to thee, my wonders show, and marvelous riches of my kingdom know. For there doth dwell, in my sweet presence, fullness of joy, at my right hand, pleasures forevermore. My precious one, if this message has warmed your soul, show your gratitude by liking it. Let your actions be a light that shines for others. Amen.